Well, apparently now Ichi's dead, so Wait, I'm what? not going to run in the show. Gar is probably not going to run the show because he's running Ultra Ranger. Well, uh, I mean, technically, nah, fuck it. Blaze, do you want to run the show? I mean, I don't know if I can. I got class. Yeah, you can do it. You're our biggest fan. Mm. The absolute gall of this group. Oh, oh my god, cue the roll call! Connect. Loading. Broadcast. Perfect! Show running Super Savant. Level up! Bluecaster, Super Ichi. Loud and online. Greycaster, Robolane. Researcher of the Tokuverse. Ultracaster, Gar. A spark of courage, the power of dreams. Orangecaster, Global Soft Perka. Shining through the night. Spellcaster, Blade. Casting, criticism, comedy, chaos. Radio Sentai Cast Ranger on air. Welcome everyone to Radio Sentai Cast Ranger episode four hundred and forty-seven. The episode Riolu. Despite episode you, huh? despite popular reports, I Ichi with one C am alive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's Ichi with one C. That oh, C's. I read. Okay, I read the newspaper wrong. <laughs> no, you just read the fans <laughs> wrong. Yeah. I, I, used, I used overtime instead of anything actually good. Ouch. Owie. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I prefer to take nice, clean screenshots and not hard subs. Wow. Well, you just watch the Raws then, Gar. That is no. true. Raws. <laughs> clean shot. Yeah. So yes, we have number one fan Blazy Coon here with us tonight because he loves Shinobi and he wanted to talk about Shinobi. Yeah. It's the blaziest of boys and our top and patron. Apparently, and apparently he also caught up on 22 episodes of Geats, so I'm yeah. like, well, okay, we might as well have him for the whole episode. Christ. <laughs> Get on you, man. Dude, what do you think of it? <laughs> um, It's shit. Kind of mid. Kind of mid. Yeah, honestly, yeah. <laughs> my, my, my favorite part about Geet, I was talking about this in one of the chats earlier. I think Geet is super underwhelming because they took the idea of modular armor and instead of being super creative with it, like um, using giving somebody with monster the drill armed buckle so they have like a more powerful punch mm -hmm. uh, in one hand, or doing like anything slightly creative. They were just like, hey, let's make 500 helmets and make and give two of them armor and the rest of them just used armed bu armed buckles. It's like, what's even the point? We'll make like 10 cheap ass form arm buckle weapons and distribute them ad nauseum. And then we'll make maybe like 10 actual form buckles tops. And then they had the fucking audacity to give us these two amazing fucking characters. Confirm the, the, to us that they were riders. And then didn't actually give them suits. Insane. Oh yeah, Garen and Lancer. I, I hate that they gave Sara just claw. Meanwhile, like, and I know, like, not, there aren't many, um, armors that are, like, like that have been like able to fit on like a female suit, which I understand that, but they could have given her like fever and had her switch between like ni uh, not ninja, um, zombie and boost. Yeah, the zombies buff this thing. Yeah, yeah. Zombies. there's multiple zombie suits because they had to get one to fit a smaller frame. But, but, but buff a zombie. But buff a zombie. Yeah. Okay. So, what does it matter? So... Geet's got to sample everyone's buckle before they got their own hands on it. Yeah, that's because he's the title writer. Yeah. And we're still missing Boost Monster. Yeah. I would like to see Boost Monster. I'd also like to see Boost Monster. Well, it would be Monster Boost, but yes. Anyways, we are a bunch of buckles who get together every week to talk about <laughs> Kamen Rider, Super Sentai, and a third thing. Stole my bit. Also sometimes Kamen Rider and or Super Sentai. This isn't a spoiler, um, but... I'm just getting usurped um, left and right. I recently found out that in Pikmin 4, they brought back the the enemy that traumatized me when I was little. Oh no. Oh, which one? 
the creeping freaking oh, what the fuck is that but they uh -oh. a whole lot i remember i used to see the eyes in the flowers and because what happens is it would pop up and jump scare you it would hide and for some reason even though i knew it was there that was way scarier like just the end like even the eyes on the flowers in the foreground just thinking about this thing you go like oh no what the fuck i had the same response there was like one area where you i think the enemies is um emperor bull blacks uh there's this one area where there's just like a little like a little patch of grass in a in a sand area and i'm like there's something there but i'm just gonna walk up to it and i got i think jump scared by the thing that was once the boss of the first game yeah they added him back in there and then if it isn't can't get worse enough now there's a mushroom version i've noticed oh, God. I, i'm not very experienced in pikmin but i've noticed that that game is absolutely masterful at Adorable, 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 terrifying, adorable, adorable, terrifying. I still think that Pikmin is like the most realistic depiction of nature in a game ever. Oh, for sure. <laughs> but I, I don't know where this came from. I guess I just felt like I had to say something because um, I'm like flying all over the place. Like my head is all like, ah. That's okay. We, we often we just give updates about ourselves in general on the show sometimes. Like me, I've been playing a lot of Baldur's Gate 3 the last day or so. Played, um... It's literally D&D &D, the game. I, I played some Sonic Unleashed. So my isn't isn't D&D D&D the game? But it's an actual video game now. My god. And I, uh, I mean, that means the third iteration. I, I, I never mention it despite being in it for now a month now. I, uh... I'm back in school. Nice. Hey, back, 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 back to, to school, school again. again. Back streets, back. All right. Close hey, Chief, making me fucking think that every single time I hear school. One anyway. of the two songs from <laughs> Grease Two that I remember. I've never I seen Grease Two, and I don't care to. It's not memorable. <laughs> they only brought Pinky back. Uh, no, Frenchy. No, Pinky, Frenchy. And in my life, in the past month, I've spent two hundred dollars on rider toys. <laughs> oh my God! Okay, so let's get into it. So news mode. Hold on, hold on, just real quick before we get into it, I want to mention. Speaking of like purchasing Toku toys, so since it seemed to work the first time, I have thrown down another challenge to Toei and Bandai on Twitter. I spent one too. I'm <laughs> still waiting for the rest of the team in King Ogier to have stock henshins. And I said yep. on Twitter, and I tagged them and used hashtags just like I did the first time, that if we get stock henchins for the others, I will buy King Oger Zero, the King's Weapon, the King Caucasus Castle, which wasn't in my tweet, but I want that one too, um, and the Crown Lance. I will buy right. all of that shit if we get stock henchins for the rest. So that is a lot of money at one time. <laughs> we proved it worked once, so the gauntlet is down once again, Toei and Bandai. Make my dreams come true. Make yeah. this my favorite Sentai. Make him, make him spend more money on you. <laughs> make his dreams come true and then be the source of his nightmares for the next month. No, no, no let his dream come true and then have the next Sentai just have Ichi, like, screaming. I don't know what they could do that I'd like more, honestly. Don Brothers 2! Oh, you Brothers mean something two. that I hate again. <laughs> <laughs> Don Brothers 2. Wow. I like I, 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 I listened to the Don Brothers ending theme uh, today, because like, I just wanted to listen to it. I didn't realize the song was called Dope Boo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See? It, they knew we were going to hate it! Because Dope Boo sounds like Don Brothers. <laughs> yeah. So I'm like, nah. I also heard a really good English cover of it. Yes, we're getting there, Decker. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, news mode. All the Godshard stuff's available for pre-order. <laughs> we got a lot of shit. A lot oh, of shit. Oh, wow. I care about so much. I'm going to go mute myself to get a drink. All right. <laughs> okay. Wow, rude. Well, uh, we have hit up our old buddy Toku Dave over at It Came From Japan to secure us a couple of booster boxes of the Ride Kemi trading cards. So expect oh. a video from us in the future. Maybe a stream, yeah, maybe a video, yeah. whatever we can, whatever yeah, we can finagle. Like a stream of us open. 
that I missed the gotcha news. Um, but I all I had to say is that there, I, I still just absolutely love the whole design and aesthetic of this season. And the art on the cards, especially the the past rider cards, which represents them with Mons instead of just having a picture of the rider, is so cool. Yeah, I love it. I especially love the brave one because I feel like that little character was the protagonist of Tattle Quest. No, it just reminded it just reminded me of Metal Mommy Mon. That too. Yeah, Metal Mommy Mon. Yeah, this is a cute little bald Digimon and he has like a robotic version of himself. I like the build rabbit that actually is in a tank. That is yeah. actually adorable. I, I sent that one to um, a friend of mine in my D&D campaign who is actually a rabbit artificer. In nice. For some reason, but I hope they do eventually. Where? I need blades! Give me blades! Yeah. I... I which, looking at all this then made me realize... Wait, DK, DK matches with uh, Zio, who's not out yet. Does that mean that maybe it's somebody's fifth anniversary and they're actually the ones coming back? And oh my god, if we get Sogo in this show, I oh, will actually be happy. No! Sogo in the show, I like the show go. <laughs> yeah, I like Sogo. I like Zio. Zio was okay. So go I mean, fuck yourself. They, they like the rumors have been saying a golden rider who looks like they have a, they're in a final form. It's it's Zio's fifth anniversary and his final form is golden. There are rumors He's... about common rider legend going around, and I've also on a related rumor heard that Inoue is not back. So if common rider legend is a thing, it's not Masahiro Inoue. Think about the Ichi. Think of it this way: if we get Sogo. That means we might get Waz back as well. <laughs> you love your Wazzy boy. We can have Waz without Sogo. No, you can't. You gotta have Sogo. He just moved on and started worshipping someone else. He started worshipping the trading cards. <laughs> we need to bring that Wagamo counterpath. <laughs> he started worshipping the grind. <laughs> you are... Uh, so yeah, as Blaze mentioned before, um, I also pre-ordered a bunch of Godshirt shit. So yeah, we got the booster boxes, of course and you then did. I pre-ordered the big belt edition with. Well, no, I didn't order booster boxes for myself. I'm just saying, like, I just mean, of course, ordered. you bought up all of the Godshirt things. Yeah, I... and we got the belt with like the the holder set, and then it comes with the the buckle. Um, and I got the gun because the gun's actually pretty fuck cool. I still lie. think the gun is ugly. I'm gonna wait to get the gun when it actually comes out. Because uh, that way I have more money saved. Oh, up. and a stack marker gun. <laughs> and and speaking of the cards, I had a fucking genius flash of insight the, earlier this week. So I, I was mm. looking at these cards and I'm like, okay, so these are the same barcodes that were used on the decade cards. I wonder if any cards that existed in the decade series cards have the same barcodes for the ride chemi cards, thus meaning the cards are cross compatible between decade shit and gotchard shit. And, and the next Keizo day, <laughs> the next day, Keizo uploaded a video using ride chemi cards in Deca Driver like, and DN Driver like, shit. Like, like the dedicated baller he is. So, yeah. <laughs> This is a great time to let all the people at home know that the that there's still a Neo Deca driver on sale at Toku Collectibles. Yeah, I, I have my yeah. Neo DN driver and a stack of cards here, so we're gonna have a lot of fun when the Gotchard shit comes out. Yeah, I'll make sure I'll make sure when that all comes in, I'll bring it over on uh, Saturday. So. Mm -hmm. All right, well, let's get into the actual news story. Uh, the press conference date's been revealed, and another teaser trailer came out. So let's review what we know about the storyline including a brand new character reveal yeah, uh, the, uh, right sorry the rider like right yes uh so first off let's take a look here so this is valvarad who is apparently a machine chaser-esque rider like that is going to be in the show my immediate first impression i really fucking hate that his suit is like dirty like i get it He's supposed to be like a mechanic looking thing. He's got like oil stains all over him. I don't like oh, it. Sh oh shit, wait. He, the lower half is actually like a like a like a like actual full on like mechanic suit. Yeah, like, like he's, sleeves. He's got like a shirt tied around his waist. Yeah, it's like how they have like the, the, the jumpsuit and then usually like they take it off the top part off and they tie it behind their back or whatever. So I really work. love the design of the top half of the suit. 
but the bottom half, I, I hate the dirty look to it. I fucking hate it. Like, I, okay. I fully understand not liking it. We're, we're going to see this guy square off against Machine Chaser at some point. Oh, could you imagine a V-Cinema or something? No, he's still need... dead. Shut the, the up! Didn't stop him coming back in Zeo! <laughs> Zeo like... doesn't count! I'm too. Yes, it does. <laughs> didn't stop him in Zeo or Ghost. They, they, they brought that. Machine Chaser back in Zeo, and then they reminded him that he becomes a rider, and then he was like, oh, I'm Chase. <laughs> I'm proper Chase. <laughs> All right. Uh, in the same article, we got good-looking shots of Gotchard Steamhopper, as well as our first proper look at his next main form, Apare Skebo, which is Apare Bushido and Skebos, so Samurai plus Skateboard. You can samurai see he's got skateboard-looking skateboard feet. <laughs> that sounds like an 80s, 90s like cartoon, yeah. Samurai right. Skateboard. Samurai, samurai Skateboard! Skateboard <laughs> Samurai. <laughs> like the trend tactic on Ninja Turtles was like us samurai skateboarders. Oh yeah, it's, like, it's just like a spinoff of Samurai Pizza Cats or something. <laughs> it is so bad. Yeah. All right. And then looking cool. at the info we have for the story, uh, in this series, artificial life forms called Kemi were created by collecting the best alchemy techniques and are made to imitate all things that exist in this world, just like the Battle Ooh. Royale and Blade. <laughs> There are a total of 101 Kemis, and they are stored in Ride Kemi cards, just like Blade. <laughs> These cards, which were carefully stored, popped out and were released all at once, just like Blade and Card Captors. <laughs> Wait. It is a lot like Card Captors, by which, um... I'm I I, I if, if, if someone needs to stop me before I recite the entire English dub theme. I was thinking it. I was thinking it. <laughs> uh yeah, so high school student Hotaro Ichinose is entrusted with the gotcha driver and given the mission to collect all the kemi. If a kemi is a reassuring human companion it, when it resonates with someone with a good heart, this is the case with Hotaro, who loads Hopper 1 and Steamliner to become Comrade Gotcha. But if a kemi combines with a human filled with malice, they create a kaijin malgam. Oh, so it, it does dip, like it it resonates with the person and either is good or good or bad. So yeah, if one of the cards infects someone who's bad, they become the monster of the week. So yeah. wait, the the cards are. are the cards are sentient. Was, I I know, but it was like. Like, oh, it would make up everything that exists is like yes. They are made to bugs. imitate all things that exist in this world. All things that exist in this world: so, bugs, trains, and pirates. Proving to beyond a shadow of a doubt that there are only one hundred and one things that exist in human society, and, and only ten categories. Yes, if you don't fit into one of these ten categories, you don't exist. <laughs> Yes, the course, common writer. You have four choices of job options: dancer, ninja, pirate, or magician. If you a don't pilot? fit into one of these job cards, you are not employed. Yeah, I, I saw like I saw the Bandai channel talking about the like the Gotcha Driver or whatever, and they get yeah. to they get to 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 pilots. Yep. And like they they say pilots, obviously, but I yeah. love it's just them saying pirate, but they can't say ours. Yep. Well, isn't it the name? Aren't these all the names of the cards? Yeah. Like... Normally, normally, pirates do say R. Oh. <laughs> uh, Japan, they go. Ugh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, all right. Uh, why, am I, why am I a fan of you guys again? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the show is being written by the show is being written by Keichi Hasegawa, who did Ultraman Nexus, Common Rider Saber, and the Gridman franchise. That's kind of a mixed bag. Uh, uh, and Hiroki Uchida, who did the Jean Aguilera Girls remix. Being directed by Ryuta Tasaki, who did Build. That's a good sign. Uh, yeah, premiering September 3rd. Can't wait. Can't, All right. Next. Can't wait to synchro summon. Yeah. Next in the Gotchard news is the official reveal of the toy version of the Got Charge Gun. Nice. So, I actually like it the more I keep looking at it. So this is actually kind of interesting. I, I really don't like the design of it, 
but the way this works is you scan cards in the little slot above it and then the gun itself holds like 30 cards and then birth Dead. buster style as you pull the trigger shoots the cards through the shaft of the gun and then drops them into the little compartment below which you can then open to take the cards out that's which, gonna dog which you means a lot like of cards. so in the actual show is he gonna be shooting cards at people uh <laughs> <laughs> that's some Seto Kaiba shit. Maybe that's how he like captures some of like the chemis or whatever. He like shoots blank cards at them to catch oh, them. Oh, you know, that might be it. That would be hilarious. Yeah. They have revealed that there are blank cards. Like, yeah, we've seen blank card cards. Backs. Yeah. So he'll just have like a stack of blank cards in there as his ammo and then just like try and shoot the do the thing to capture it with the blank cards. Exactly. Not gonna lie, that sounds hilarious, and I actually want to see that. The card yeah. has to shake three times before you catch it. <laughs> the card's shaking on the ground. <laughs> Damn, it was so close, too. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Okay, so it uh, looks like the Got Charge gun comes with three cards, which is Scabos, Gold Dash, and Bullet Bang. So nothing that makes a combo on its own, but you can combo it with the I, other cards. I like the gun comes with a gun-themed card. <laughs> well, yeah, I should hope so. I like that it comes to the skateboard. Uh, let's see. Uh, pull the trigger to activate the LED light and attack sounds. Scan and load trading cards. Pulling the trigger will activate the motor and can fire up to 30 ride cards continuously. So you can just rapid fire all 30 cards. Oh, I'm doing that. <laughs> I'm definitely fucking doing the that. The finisher sound changes depending on the number of cards scanned. That's interesting. Yeah. 100! So so it's basically Full cards! Birth, it's basically the birth <laughs> the, the the birth buster but with mixed cards. with the Garen Rouser. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's actually pretty cool. I may not like the here. design of this thing, but functionally it seems pretty fucking interesting. Uh, yeah. oh. Like I said, I'll bring it over when I get it. Yeah. I so. I really like this. I do hate the clear orange plastic. Yeah, this is not no, going to last I, that I like long. That. Like, I, I hate that you can, you can, if you look at the promo images where it's like, uh, face, like this it's side view is facing you, you can see the wires in the card scanner. You know what you should do? Don't look too close. You should, you should get some blank cards and then just put stack markers on them. <laughs> and then just make 30 stack marker cards to shoot stack markers. <laughs> Would that work though? I feel like you don't fully conceptualize what stack markers from FF14 really are. No, I don't know what they mean. <laughs> it's because I saw that the, this FF14 event, this person was cosplaying as stack markers, and then I was like, gotcha confirmed? And Ichi's like, I get what you mean, but no. <laughs> so just to briefly let you know, in FF14, a common attack that bosses will do is called, it's a, it's a stack marker. It's a set of arrows that are targeted on someone, and they have to group up with other players before the attack hits, or they take the max amount of damage and die. Uh, when everyone stacks up for the stack marker, the damage is split between them. Gotcha. So the the metaphor doesn't quite fit in, but I understand and, why because the arrows. And his gotcha, gotcha eyes looks like stack markers. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's all right. Cool. So I got, I got pre ordered the gun. So yes, uh, if you want it, it's fifty seven twenty yen, releasing September second. And our next item is Valvarad's uh, transformation device slash weapon, the Valva Rusher, which is literally just a wrench. Oh, we get like a closer look at his helmet, to his head too. It looks really cool. Yeah, I wonder Wait, if the dials Val on his eyes can move. <laughs> Valvarad? No, I Valvarad. I I, Valvarad. Okay, I've, I've said this on Twitter. For the next year, I will never, ever, not once, ever be able to listen to or read the name Valvarad without thinking of Alpharad. It's just yeah. not going to happen. <laughs> well, um, you ruined it for me, Chi. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. I can't hear it either. I'm going to send you to the Shinobi world. Oh, fuck. I don't Shinobi like ninjas. Uh, so yeah, apparently this thing turn also like is a sword, but also a gun too. It's a it's like a wrench, but it. Uh, I don't know if it's a gun. I think that's just the mode where it opens up to put the card in. Uh, it has it has a gun barrel inside of the wrench bit. Yeah, but like the mode where it looks like a gun, that's literally just to open it up to put the card in. 
it looks like he, it looks like he primarily transforms with the mad wheel card but i think he can use any vehicle category card which means yeah, maybe he has other forms they they demoed it with uh scalos uh, in a Con different image common rider drive called they want their character back right <laughs> I love this guy is obviously very inspired by Machine Chaser. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, God. Which means he's going to become a rider at some point, and we're all going to fucking love him. I mean, uh, I believe they... Go ahead, go ahead, sorry. Common Rider Valve? Sure, why not? <laughs> Common Rider Porter 3. Uh, if, this, if this guy's a robot, I'm going to be... Oh, I'm going to be best in the wrong fucking toy line. <laughs> they... I, I believe they said in like a uh, character bio thing that um, he wishes to be a writer. Which means absolutely oh. it's going to happen! Yep. No, it's going to happen. <laughs> Hope he's not a robot. Sorry, Emily, did you say something? No, I just, I, I just, I just said oh. Yeah. So yes, his weapon is the Velva Rusher. And then he also has his uh, card deck box, the Valva Draw Buckle, which is interesting not only because it's on a diagonal angle, but so Gotchard's wrist mounted one holds 10 cards, his gun holds 30, and this one that Valvarite has holds 20 cards. I keep underestimating how like flat cards are. Yeah. <laughs> Good lie. You can you could stuff a whole bunch in there, like a whole deck in there. Yep. I like the design on the the valve draw buckle. Yeah, yeah. no, that that was like the first thing I really noticed when I saw like the design. I was like, ah, oh, that's cool. Sorry, belt. it's the valve valve rad draw buckle. God, that's gonna be painful to say. Uh, don't worry, just don't worry about saying that. Then. Just call it the valve buckle. Anyways, I feel like this is going to be the best character in the show, but who knows? We haven't even seen secondary tertiary riders yet, so who yeah. fuck knows. So if you want the Velva Rad drop buckle, uh, it includes uh, the Gekio Copter and Gorilla Sensei cards. Yeah, I want Gorilla Sensei, but I don't want to buy the weapon. I don't care. Well, that's with the buckle, not the weapon. Oh, well, I don't want the buckle. <laughs> I just want the card. But it holds 20 cards. Well, I have, I'll have the gun that holds 30. <laughs> Lane, you don't get it. You can put the buckle on and put your entire Yu-Gi-Oh! extra deck inside of it. <laughs> you put your I extra deck in there! You don't play Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> you should change that. No, I don't like trading cards. Skill games. issue. Yeah. Yeah, I suck at balls at them, and I have no idea. I don't idea. ratio. <laughs> if you played Yu-Gi-Oh! If you dueled me, I'd only use Duelist Kingdom rules, so. Oh, you're that Fuck kind sacrifice. of scrub. Mm. Well, that means you should play Rush Duels. No, because you said that was stupid. So it is stupid. They are stupid. Exactly. It's not that there's no. It's not that there's no sacrifices. It's that there's no limit on normal summons, which means you can just summon as many monsters as you want and immediately sacrifice them same turn. Anyways, Alpha Rad's cool. Go <laughs> watch his Twitch. Sub to him on YouTube. He'll be cool. He's gonna be the best character in the fucking show, and we're all gonna love him. So uh, the buckle is twenty seven fifty and releasing September sixteenth. So you have to wait an extra week to get the buckle, I guess. Yeah, because that's probably when he debuts. Probably. I wonder what it's gonna be because if if a monster appears by like someone an evil person fusing with a card, and a rider appears by a good person fusing with a card, what does a, a rider like end up with? He's there's probably some special circumstances with him. Ambivalent towards good and evil. Yeah. <laughs> He's yeah. Shadow the Hedgehog. Who says I can't have my cake and also murder the president? <laughs> you're the fake around here. <laughs> Give me that wrench. Give me that wrench. I need to shoot the president. I think you're the fake writer. <laughs> That's I've also been watching Sonic Prime this week. That shit is so good. Yeah, you know, that robot enemy <laughs> Sonic thing was pretty cool. Chaos Sonic, yeah. <laughs> All right. Sorry, Emily. Did you say something? No, I was just gonna say that I that I I have to watch that. Yeah. All right. Next news story: More Gotchard. We got the gimmick figure line, which reveals to us that apparently before these forms like finish transforming, the armor forms like a little sentient creature of sorts that like apparently wanders around before attaching to the Gotchard form. 
That's uh, cute. And I guess I like... this also counts as seeing his, like, between form. Which, of course, like I like. The... I like the blank forms. You like base forms. Like, not even base forms, but, like, before base forms. Like, like before it comes on. Yep. Well, I can't talk, I'm sorry. That's yeah, okay. okay. So, yeah, we can see that Steam Hopper is a legit just a grasshopper. Aparte Skebos is a, a suit of samurai armor on a skateboard. And then for Ant Wrestler, it's like a trio of ants because it's just the chest piece and then the arm pieces are like two other ants. And there's, so many ants. Yeah, and there's a shot of the form, Gotchard Ant Wrestler. It's neat. It's all right. Good use of blue and yellow. So yes, this is the Sochaku Henshin series. Uh, it's uh, similar to the Geese Revolve Change figure line. Twenty-one points of articulation. Uh, comes with the Got Charge gun, interchangeable hands. Forty-nine fifty and September thirtieth release. For like for a, for a figure with basically three forms, that's not terrible. That like is his... good. I just said that's pretty good. I like his blank form. Yes, I also like his blank. Form. Eh. Forms is forms. All right. Next on the news docket, we have another Sound Core ID set from Kamerider Geats, and this Don't time care for these. it's Nadge Sparrow and Hakubi. Yay! So it's the rider everyone hates, and the rider no one really pays much attention to. The rider everyone <laughs> hates, and the rider he murdered. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. I can't wait to get sounds of Daichi in my desire driver, said no one. <laughs> well, Don't separate. I already. Well, I mean, I mean, there is that one person I follow that, like, uh, she's like the number one Daichi fan. It's not hard to be number one not. when there's no one else. <laughs> um. So, yes. Uh, bu -bu -bu Premium Bandai Web Exclusive 3300 yen December release. Buy it for Christmas for someone you hate. It's not hard to be the only, to be the hottest person in the party when no one else is invited. <laughs> nice. The only, the only thing that I want to hear Daichi's voice come out of is a premium Bandai X divisor. I thought you were about to say the only thing I want to hear come out of Daichi is a death scream. No. <laughs> I don't think he deserves death. No, he's, he's, he's trying to be better. He's well, trying. We'll talk about that later. Yeah. Okay, Next, cool. we don't I know Gar's probably excited about this one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that this was the one that was like coming in. Uh, so I guess it's not, it's not CSM, but it's close to CSM. It is apparently and one to one. It is a one to one scale, Rider Man belt. Oh, he had with his helmet. Yeah, yeah. So okay. The, the, <laughs> I'm uh, fucking sorry. The price on this? Ninety-four thousand six hundred yen. What the fuck? That's <laughs> almost a thousand dollars. I hope you leave a genuine leather. Someone out there is the biggest fucking Rider Man. Look at how time. basic that is. Someone on Etsy could perfectly reduplicate this <laughs> for a digit less. A six-year-old uh, could make that an art and, class. And multi ask, does it do anything? No. No. It, oh my God! Cave with a of All right, let's see what. <laughs> let's see them try and justify this. This item is based on the belt worn by Joji Yuki, one to one scale replica belt made of genuine leather and the same material seen in the series. Ooh, the belt is okay. approximately 930 millimeters in length. The buckle is 180 millimeters in width, 90 millimeters tall. Side be what? Toei online store exclusive, 94,600 yen releasing in January. These replicas are only made via build to order manufacturing. Pre orders close September 30th. Wow, the audacity of you people. You better get this hand delivered to you by Rider Man himself. Right? <laughs> uh, and signed. Uh, it's going to um, be pretty hard. Yeah, since he's been dead for almost 40 years. <laughs> Oh no! 
Then it has to be oh, delivered yeah, by Gact. Yeah. yeah, I was gonna say Gact is the next best option. <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh. god, I can't fucking believe this! I, I need to know how well this sells. Well, um, you're in luck, Ichi. In December, we're uh, we're celebrating Rider Man's 50th anniversary by w looking at his debut episodes. You know oh who's boy. gonna get? You know who's gonna buy this? Kazo's gonna buy this. <laughs> Poor bastard. He's gonna make. Kezo's, he's gonna make a, gonna buy it with uh with his YouTube money. Gonna make a three minute fucking video of just showing it off. Doesn't do anything. And <laughs> open the pouch. It. Close the pouch. Spin it around. No, I, open the other pouch. I, close the pouch. I'm video over. I'm you. Kazo is the president of Bandai Japan. <laughs> That's how he gets all this shit. That's how he gets all this shit. I mean, it would explain how he gets everything the day of release. Exactly. Oh, this man is so prepared. <laughs> love you, Kezo. You're Kezo, fucking if you're ass. listening, come guest on our show. We would love to have you. No, he keeps his identity 100% of the secret. Yeah, he doesn't do Kezo's guesting right now, Chi. It's a mystery. <gasps> no, no, no. Just Kezo, Kezo set turns around. Hey everyone, this is Taka. Looking to talk such a secret bitch. Imagine if fucking Toad had two toys. Was fucking. I love that. So you just made the other channel as a fucking mislead. I, I just want to see someone make like like the gap like the uh, the arm attachments and the helmet. To yeah, make I was gonna say, make the helmet. First, the actual henshin device. For this price, <laughs> it should come with all of that. Nah. <laughs> I bet hey. I could make a Rider Man cosplay for for under a thousand dollars. Fuck Absolutely yeah! Absolutely, you could. Yeah. Well, go ahead. You've got uh, four months. <laughs> I don't want. I don't want cosplay Rider Man. Anyways, oh, let's, let's, Rider Man. He fucking sucks. Anyways, let's talk about something cooler <laughs> like this. Like Kamen Rider V three. No. Oh, it's hey, it's Gigantus. Like the release of King Caucasus Kabuto! Hey, it's Mega Hercules. The Castle Zord is finally here! It's really cool. The name is just as long as an actual king's name. Yep. It's into a tank. So yeah, How's apparently tank that tank mode is its, like, shoe god mode. That's its, oh. like, bug form. Okay. So yes, it goes between castle mode, shoe god mode, and like robot mode, and it has a there's a name for each form like Caucasus Kabuto Castle, uh, God Caucasus Kabuto, and the robot form is King Caucasus Kabuto. I want someone to repaint this as Bombshell from Transformers. <laughs> His chest is angry at us. It, no, his, his chest is Gosei. He's out for revenge. I was gonna say it looks like the Predacon emblem. <laughs> There's a simple explanation as to why I'm in Sentai. <laughs> oh no! It kind of looks more like Waspinator's face. That which is the Predacon emblem. <laughs> That's what it is. Waspinator afraid of giant robot. Was Benator, don't think I want I, I want to get this yeah. so badly and just have it on display on my desk in castle mode. You'll do it. I love castles just conceptually. That's part of why I was a huge fan of the castle smash back in build. So like I I'm so in love with this. You'll get it. I know you will. I'm just... resisting for now. My challenge is still thrown down to Toei and Bandai. Uh huh. This looks like some ghost. Again, all I see is Gose's face on the front there. Understandable. There's a perfectly logical explanation for this. He already made that Ranger, joke. Rangers, I have returned. Now it's time to do nothing but fight scenes. Fuck yeah. character development. Yeah, it's not, it's I, we'll never see a Power Rangers adaptation of this. So in <laughs> robot mode, it stands 380 millimeters tall. This thing is fucking big. Uh, and then it comes with the Guardian Hercules as its uh, little partner that turns into its axe weapon. Don't talk to me and my son ever again. Yeah. And, and of course... It comes with a target master. Yeah. And of course, Wait. it combines with every other shoe god ever to form God King Oger, a 20-piece mech that is just way too much. Wow. I, that, what? 
Oh my god. Because of the horn on the axe weapon, they have, you have to have little holes in his face. Like, I see, I see this 20-piece combination. I hope all the rangers are in the same cockpit. No, they won't be. I don't know. They weren't in. They weren't for extreme King Oja. Why would they be for this? But yeah, all, I don't know where that picture came from. But so yeah, for the Discord they showed God King Oja Zero. Shit. That's what I've been looking forward to seeing. Look how fucking oh, good all that black and gold looks. No, oh, holy shit! Look how big it is compared to basic ass King Oja. Oh, it's fucking huge. You know, I was looking forward to getting. A new clusterfuck mech, and now I realize why very few of them work. <laughs> Fuck, go back! Oh yeah, the cockpit is the throne room, so they could all fit in there. We'll see if they actually do it, though. All of them sitting on the on the throne together. The cockpit's the throne room. No, you know what would be awesome if, since there's probably room in there, if like little thrones for each of them pop up next to them. Oh, for goodness! Jeremy gets a high chair. <laughs> no, he gets a hammock. Hey, get some hammock. <laughs> oh, don't worry. We'll, we'll we'll get to him. Yeah. There was something in this episode that was like, no. <laughs> of all the things I don't believe. What's the current? What's the current biggest fucking mech right now? Like even like final final mech. I think uh, twelve. Like oh no, the, wait, like, I'm wait, hang on. Like what? the biggest in Sentai. Yeah. Oh, that's what goes to five man. Okay, just in Sentai. Okay. Really? That wow. still goes to five man with their command base. That thing was fucking huge. Wait, toy wise or like actual like size and show wise? wise? Uh, yeah, I'd say toy wise, honestly. To toy wise, it's still five man. Oh, really? Yeah. How I was tall thinking was it? G12. I was thinking Tokyo, uh, Tokyo Rainbow or. Uh, I was thinking uh, Engine OG12. <laughs> you guys are talking to the guy that's seen all of Sentai. That's true. Okay. Well, it's technically show wise, the biggest mech is uh, Calberios. Oh, Silverios. That That's that, a movie for That us. bitch orbited the planet. That bitch, that bitch pushed the planet. That's pretty big. Okay, so uh, for anyone interested in the Caucasus Kabuto, uh, it yeah. is releasing August 5th. Uh, so that's tomorrow, and it's 11,000 yen, so that's barely over a hundred dollars. Christ, I wonder if they'll ever make a mini plug that. I am resisting so far. They'll do it. Ichi, breathe. Breathe, Ichi. They'll do it. No, Ichi, don't breathe on the buy it now button. They'll do it. <laughs> they'll do it. Buy it. Do it. No, it's click it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Our next news story is that uh, hot on the heels of rumors of Kyoryuger, uh cameoing in King Oger, uh, there is at very least going to be something Kyoryuger related because they have announced a Kyoryuger 10th anniversary project. Love that logo. Yeah. Yes. I've Gee, always it's like if <laughs> I've always loved the font of the numbers on the Kyoryuger stuff. <laughs> Just G. It's as if Kyoryuger was, like, the highest grossing Sentai in the last decade. It's as if Kyoryuger has had a toy in every single year since it had came out. There was a Kyoryuger clip that, like, showed up on my uh, feed, like, uh, like months ago. But it was when they're fighting, like, this really adorable baby monster, and, like, all the other Kyoryugers are like, Yeah. What? What do you just see Daigo just fucked up? Decker! <laughs> Decker, what are you doing, Decker? I didn't even think that I could get painted because the color scheme is the one thing I'm not the, oh, I'm absolutely in love with. The idea of painted. I asked. I asked for a bombshell repaint. There's the bombshell. No. Oh. Decker, you're enabling Ichi. No! Oh, I can get it painted! Get the gold turned blue! It would be so pretty! Ichi, no, you already have your three month ticket from uh, Toy Buyers Anonymous. <laughs> <laughs> TBA. Watch next, next week, next, next week, where he's going to be like, I bought, I bought I, it, guys. I, I bought the castle. <laughs> the castle. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, there you go, you made a blue. Like, See, look how good that looks! Yeah, it's pretty cool. I bought King Oger. Oh, you bought the mech? No, I bought the franchise. I, I bought everything. <laughs> 
I, I own the I, rights to King Ojik. I, bu I bought everything. <laughs> I changed my loan to King Ojik. Let's just say, expect Ska Kenshin's all the rest of the year. <laughs> <laughs> See, the, the, the shame of it all, the, what's really a shame about it is, my house is so small that I have almost literally no space left to put anything. And that's why we do a thing called purging. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do that soon. <laughs> Just uh, to, to go with the bandwagon of buying stuff. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Stark. Oh, and then I've been sharing a Netflix account. Wait, you, you just wanted a Netflix account? Yeah, what did you get me? Netflix. I bought you Netflix. <laughs> just, you bought I bought the bank. I bought the bank. Okay, so Kyoryuger, uh, blah, blah, blah. 10th anniversary features Kyoryu Red's oh. helmet. Uh, oh. The first of the anniversary celebrations is that the series will be streaming on YouTube for free as of July 30th. Two episodes okay. every Sunday. Eight. Region Eight. locked. Maybe, I don't know. This episode is brought to you by NordVPN. It's not actually. Which, yeah, it's not. For Kyoryu's tenure, if we're gonna do any new Ranger stuff, please give us a Yellow Ranger. That would be awesome. Oh, I really, God. You know, you know, a Memorial Gabble Revolver is gonna happen too. I want it. Same. Uh, which just reminds me, fucking, I need to get my my Sentai podcast out of the fucking mothballs. <laughs> no, no, you know what would be really cool. Do a team up with the Korean team. Oh yeah, with Brave. Yeah, that That's would so be neat. boring. <laughs> boring and, then up, and, the, and then team up with Dino Charge, including uh, the guy who says it was the worst time of his life. <laughs> oh, Michael Michael I, Tabor, or whatever the fuck. I, I mean, to, to be fair, I would be pissed off too if I had to pay for uh, for a hotel for ten months straight. Jesus, oh, for sure. And you know, be stuck in fucking New Zealand. That's rough. And just, he kind of sucks that my that a guy who like the Sentai character who was my favorite uh, Sentai character for a while was played by a guy who absolutely despises the fact that he was ever in Power Rangers. Well, and, and the Pink Ranger was also like that too. Yeah, and so was Kira. All right, Which moving one? on. Uh, yellow Dino, Dino Thunder. Thunder Yellow. Uh, some sometimes things change. You know what else changed? The marriage status of Kamen Rider Mach. No, segue. Yu oh, Inaba. Who, who, yeah, Yu Inaba, who played uh, Go, Maha, uh, announced his marriage to model and TV personality Nicole Fujita. Uh, he announced it on August 4th. And there's a picture of the two Wait of them. Wait a minute. That's not the girl from the Mach V cinema. <laughs> he cheated. That's not Kiriko. <laughs> Whoa. His sister? Whoa, no, what the no, fuck no. is wrong with uh, 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 No, it's Karen Dijanosuke. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so can. congratulations to them. It looks so just, nice in that picture. Holy fuck, I'm just, I'm just realizing something. So I had, like, so this live-action Netflix One Piece show is coming out in, like, oh, God, end of this month. God. And fucking Zoro's actor is played by the like guy who played Drive's son in the the future movie. Oh yeah, I heard about that. Yeah. Also, he was Saya in the Saint Seiya movie that came out recently. Oh boy, I, I, I really do not care about this One Piece show coming out. I think it's gonna be fun as shit. As a <laughs> non One Piece fan, I'm intrigued, and I'm gonna be watching it. Uh, hell, they even got for the Japanese dub. They got the whole like straw hat Japanese voice cast to like dub them. Nice. So, like, so, can I, can I also, say? Go ahead. I'm genuinely intrigued, but also scared. I don't know. They don't need to make live action versions of anything. No, they Not don't. Not anything. They don't. No. What you know, especially for a show and story that's not even fucking over yet. <laughs> I. What has happened in the past year where, like, I would hear One Piece every so often. It was like, oh, yeah, it's the anime with the most episodes. And nope. then now it's just like, I cannot go a single week without hearing the name at least once. By the way, that's not true. I, I checked. Yu-Gi-Oh! has more episodes, which I've watched all of. Yeah, but that's, like, different. Uh, one Piece is consistent. It's one continuous story. Yu-Gi-Oh! is not. <laughs> yeah, that means it stays fresh and interesting. One piece is still fresh and it's just a 
That isn't sounds like denial. Season that, isn't there an entire season that's like 10 hours, but it takes place over the course of one hour? Uh, I don't know which one you're talking about. Uh, one Piece. I, that's what I heard from someone. Oh. Oh, oh, no, there's like, it's like a whole fucking hundred episode arc that takes place like over a day. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Yeah, like the entire Dressrosa arc happened in an entire day. Okay, one wait. Okay, yeah. Uh, Twenty-two minutes times one hundred. Uh, they would have. To, by they would have. <laughs> they would have to restate the same parts of the day from different perspectives for it to work. That is a day and a half worth of time. <laughs> Thank you, Decker. <laughs> Thank you for that quote of the year. <laughs> That's Wait, they got a divorce? Let's fucking go! A, 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 an arc that takes place over a day yeah. has a day and a half worth of content. I mean, do you remember in Dragon Ball Z when Frieza said the plan would blow up in five minutes? And that was like no, 20 episodes? No, because I watched Dragon Ball Z. Oh, you should. That's on you. Yeah. Skill issue. Anyways, tune in this week for the episode 1071 of One Piece Jesus because it's going to be a Christ. fucking banger. Luffy's oh. getting his new power up and it's going to be fucking epic. He's getting his 47th power up and he's going to punch a guy in the face for the 900th time. No, it's fifth power up. Tune in this week for the new episode of Grey's Anatomy, aka One Piece for White Women. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, Mark's getting married. Congratulations. I hope you have a very happy long for marriage. Instead of let's fucking go, now it's she's fucking go. <laughs> Whoa. God, you, know what show, you know what other show also had an entire day be a season? Uh, the, the finale to How I Met Your Mother. <laughs> Also, you know, the show 24. <laughs> <laughs> That's literally the of that show, Boom. Lane. I know Boom. it is. Boom. What is happening? I, love that uh, shit. I don't Anyways, fucking know. That's, anyway, we're that's done. The news. That's the news. <laughs> God, I love doing the show. <laughs> All right, Geek's time. Geek's time. Ready? Fight. Guys, we're getting a little too heavy-handed with the Christian imagery, I think. No, I think we we're, about? Getting, we're getting more to the point of stop dragging this shit out and just fucking end. On the plus side, we finally understand the significance behind all those shots of Ace being chained up in the opening. Yeah, I was thinking that and also i know we already that this is from the last episode not this episode but it's it's become very clear that the true sign of power is white hair uh, yeah, yeah. But like we said last week it's it's just like they did with actually i'm not gonna say a lot because you haven't watched that season but everyone knows know. exactly what i'm talking about yes and i was <laughs> thinking the same thing i was thinking is is god's having white hair just a thing in like it's Common rider? Albino equals god powers, I guess. Stressing stressing yourself the fuck out to get white hair gives you god powers. And why why didn't Agito have fucking white hair? You because he was powered here. by God? No, because he punched God in the face. Yeah. Well, you, yeah. Heard it, you heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. Your grandma is God. <laughs> yes, and you should well, obey I mean, her. In, in some households, yeah. Um, <laughs> Speaking of Agito, quick quick side tangent. Someone finally resubbed all of Agito. Nice. With a uh, oh. nice, nice uh, 60 FPS. I knew you we were going to pull out that reference. Uh, Emily. <laughs> yeah, just... Can, can I talk about the one thing that sort of is bugging me a bit about this show? No, uh -huh. I'm actually what? Taki, uh, Takahashi doesn't know how to write villains. <laughs> no, that's why we have a new villain every like ten episodes. It's like, like, oh, okay, so Ace took some Marie's god powers, so now he's the creation. Deity? He's, I thought they he's the god of creation now. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he's the god of creation. Okay, I can buy that. But now you have the new game master. Psst, here's my evil version of Samurai, and I saw that, and I immediately went. <sighs> Why? So they can use her to do god things. 
The Mooney Two Electric Sumaru. But they made her like I like the the goddess of destruction this time. But the first time when he opened his hand and showed the tear, I thought it was a Cadbury Mini. <laughs> You know what? Uh, seven in the chat brings up. It's just Azu again. Yeah, except they didn't like change her hair or anything. They just gave her a darker outfit. Poppy. They yeah. cut the white off of her dress. Also, the the pan's gone now because they reverted back to the previous world. So Hooray! it's not right. No. It, it's a bit upsetting because you couldn't even like give him a quick scene of like, hey, wait, the f <laughs> no. Wait, what happened? Just gone. <laughs> In other news, a Japanese high schooler was arrested for being a school shooter. <laughs> no, no, no. I just want him to still have his memories, but he's he just went fucking crazy. Yeah. I mean, jokes aside, he would have been put back to his normal life, but without the desire to kill everyone. <laughs> no, no, yes. no. It's just like, like you see him. Powers are gone. Uh, what's the pain's real name? In? Uh, Kanato Sumida. Yeah, yeah just. Hey, hey, bro, what's up? Fuck you. Yeah, he's still himself. <laughs> That's normal. That's the pan. That pan. <laughs> so, Jito finally decides to just go fuck it and announce to the world, we're from the future, we're going to murder you all, welcome to the bad end game, god fucking damn it, it's another game. For some reason, the fact that the the bad end people are like these weird masquerade dudes is way funnier than it should be. Yeah, I feel like we're once again dipping into the Squid Game references. Oh yeah, oh. Uh, I saw Squid Game. <laughs> <laughs> See, we even have the the main character dyeing his hair. Oh. Yep. <laughs> Three with all the memories is going to turn into a giant Jamato that destroys everything. That was really interesting. So, like, yeah, Baroba, quote unquote, prays her wish to what we can only refer to as Dark Tsumuri, I guess, that she wants the Tree of Knowledge to be remade into a giant, powerful Jamato to destroy the world. And then she asks for her spark, her Gira Gira, to, to power that wish. And I'm like, but if you give her that, then you won't want Too that much. anymore. Too Murray. Too Murray, I like that. <laughs> Too Murray. Kuro Murray, both good. But yeah, so Too now that, so they established that now that so Ace and Tycoon's wishes combined and they, all it did was set them one world back. This wasn't making a new world. This was just <laughs> literally undoing the last remake. Go back go to back. the last resave. Fuck, go back. <laughs> Pretty safe. Yeah. Yeah. Um, which means the tree of knowledge is still around, and even though Daichi is being cooperative with helping them get uh, Sarah back, I don't really think this redeems him because we're only in this scenario because of what he did. Un undoing your mistakes is not atoning for them necessarily. Oh, oh no! Like I I'm glad that Neon is Neon and Michi are still like. So are we friends? Fuck no! We still hate you. Yeah. Fuck you. We're just doing this so that we can get over it and move on. Undoing your mistake is not atoning for it. The common writer Buffa story. Yeah, and 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 speaking of Buffa, like I, it really bugs me the way they're they're handling his character. Like they're making him seem all like regretful and like. Uh, making it making him feel like he's the one at fault for murdering Sarah, Sarah when he genuinely didn't know. He thought he was just killing a Jamato, but the fact no, that he he's no... sorry, good. No, just you're right. He had no idea whatsoever, and that, that it seems to be unsure whether Buffa is supposed to be like a dark, brooding person or just another one of the main characters. I. I just hate that they're trying to redeem him despite the fact that because of this man, at least like a hundred people are dead. Are you talking about yeah, Buffa like, or Daichi? Buffa. Like his interaction and ca caused the JGP, which caused all the shit to happen. If he had just not been a little bitch, I'm not saying I'm not happened. saying Michinaga is without fault for other things, but I'm no. specifically regarding Sarah. 
Buffalo well, is no, no, Michinaga's I... making such a big deal about him being the one at fault and that he has to do all this to make up for it. And like doing what he does does end up solving the problem, but making himself the one at fault I think is completely undue. Everything what happened was Daichi's fault and I and on the same page as Buffa's taking too much of the blame, I think not enough blame is being hoisted on Daichi because it's only his fault that any of that shit really happened. What I'm saying is what I'm saying is Daichi needs more punches in the face. So what you're saying is the show has too many characters now. Oh, that was a... We passed that <laughs> milestone forever ago. <laughs> too many writers spoils the henshin. Takes a lot yeah. to make a game. Uh, like, for, like, something that I learned in school recently was uh, four, four, four in a band. You gotta have four main characters. Mm -hmm. The show is treating its supporting cast as main characters. Mm -hmm. So there's we, too many characters going around. We have too much supporting cast to the point where fucking no one has an upgrade until the last five episodes of the show. There, there have been several points in this show where you could say that Punk Jack was among the primary main writer cast of the show, and we haven't even seen him henchin in how many fucking episodes. It, well, he, he got demoted to supporting role, which I'm fine with. If you want to keep, see, you, hey, hey, guys, guys, you know how I bitched and complained when Dan Kuroto came back and everyone was like, you know, rubbing his gash at. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me. Like, Punk Jack. This is how you do it. You bring him back, and you just keep him at a like normal level. No, but here's the thing. Punk Jack is not the in, uh, is not analogous to Genmu. Punk Jack is analogous to Laser. I we talked yeah, about yeah, this. Exactly. He's Laser yeah, yeah. and he's Jin. This he is Laser, but I, I hate to say it, Laser sort of did fucking nothing when he came back. And I, that's my point. Now he's back and he's doing nothing. <laughs> Yeah. Ashi, stop bringing back oh, characters no. and making them do nothing. I just, I just want to say, because like speaking of Genmu, still like, Buffa has done so much shit, and now he's just like, ah, oh, I'm good now. What happened to the guy who wrote the the one line that made Gen, Genmu's quote unquote redemption completely viable? I don't forgive you. I don't apologize. Boom. Yeah, that like, was... memes aside, despite how much Gar and other people may hate him, Dan Kuroto, in my opinion, was brilliantly written. Michinaga is not getting the same treatment. Sadly, you're right. Michinaga, I feel like... <laughs> I feel like he was supposed I... to die much earlier. Nah. He's a... The, what, I, you know I what, feel the, like they the, just didn't go. The primary thing is, which will summarize everything I've been saying, is he's atoning for the wrong sins. You know what it could also be? It could be that his character arc came to an end too early. Yeah, and they had to like, oh, because he's a main character, we can't... We have to keep him doing something. Yeah, because we're now at the issue of he obtained what he wanted. And then it's, been, but, so yeah. it's like there's 20 episodes left of the show what do you do with that the pair now what what we do is take away his power up give him back nothing but his base form and then have him flail around and be and get caught in an artificial shame spiral when he kills someone he wasn't aware was a human and then bend over backwards too hard to make up for it and almost get himself murdered also, well, like, they made the chewing gun reference in this episode. Bro, but enjoying it. <laughs> Just, bro, sees Michinaga. Oh, what are you here to do? I'm here. I'm tired of fighting. I'm here to fight. <laughs> Uh, uh, or, or however that scene went, all I just pictured in my head was, I'm here to chew bubble gum, and kick ass, and I'm all the bubble gum. <laughs> it's like the fucking uh, TikTok sounds. Like Buffa was a great hero. His hands bore the blood of thousands of riders. <laughs> Slay! I will no. say, 
Like, <laughs> while it was a complete, like, pull out of nowhere, miracle, whatever you want to, however, whatever your thoughts are on Buffa pulling out his jaw machine form at the end of that clash, the technicality behind it, I think, is hilarious. Yep. So, Baroba decides, I'm going to fight him with my common Rider form. What can he do about it? I'm going to crush him because I'm giant. And then as they're fighting, and that fight was awesome to watch, by the way. Yeah. And then, it could have been... We, we, need, we needed... I, we needed an Ultraman director <laughs> to do that fight. Yeah. So, as they both do their hisatsus at each other, Buffa temporarily turns into his Jamashin fever zombie form, which has the just innate ability to immediately destroy any common Rider it fights, which immediately fucks Baroba because she chose to use her common Rider form instead of her premium form, which is not a common Rider. Oh, yeah. you know, that is a sick design. That is a sick wallpaper, though. He still has common Rider destroying powers, but then the club titles did this. Yeah. Uh... They knew what they were doing. That's not nice. I come on. The, the way she's speaking in that in that shot, it her, it's hard to hear the actual words she was saying. So I can't really comment on how that might have been translated better. I just love how beef. I will say I love how her last line was, "We'll be in the grave together someday." As she's being deleted, which means <laughs> no, Michinaga will not be joining you in the recycle bin. Well, I guess it's more like sort of a skew in hell sort of thing. Yeah. <laughs> to quote Doofenshmirtz, she's 16. Uh, 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 to, to make a DuckTales joke, I'll see you all in the afterlife. Should we be afraid that he went down and not up? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it means Baroba was a good villain or a bad villain, but all I can say is I'm so... So glad she's gone. Yeah, like, me too. She was. <sighs> Kekro is better. Kekro you know, is better. She's fine, but I feel like it, it's the issue of she overstayed her welcome. Yeah. She was one note, and the note got sour quick. Yeah, just despair, despair. No way. No, I know this. It's Harley Quinn. Everyone loves Harley Quinn. Can't the, fucking stand Harley Quinn. Does she hate Michinaga? Does she hate Nago? It's, it goes back and forth it, depending on how her feelings are the week, every single week. I, literally, because I've been, like I said, I've rewatched 22 episodes to be able to be here. Fucking, she said, like, oh, well, once you win, I'll have nothing to do with you anymore because you'll be a winner. And I like uh, being with the losers to see their despair. And meanwhile, she's just like, Buffa, I want you to do this. Buffa, do this, do this, do that. And it's like, I thought you said you hated me. <laughs> B Baroba tries to be a complex character, but the complexity she was attempting to achieve is so uninteresting that it's not worth paying attention to. I mean, you know what? Maybe that's the problem with with Geats. Yeah. It has like you already have a good concept with the whole battle royale game. You don't really need villains. You have yeah. the other players to be the villains. I would say that's only true for the first half of the show, and that's what I was saying last week. How like we're still doing games. It's still a new game every arc yeah. of the show is a game <laughs> gaim dropped this shit by the mid the late 10s early 20s like episode 18 was like the last bit with the whole dance thing that's um, what i'm talking about like when, once it, he got kachi doki that's when things started to get serious it's a good introductory concept and as just as we moved away from the system where people would get random buckles and people eventually started just consistently using the forms that they were assigned that's when the story should have kept pace with that and moved away from this stupid game system because this got annoying real quick I. I want to backtrack real quick. Someone posted the Ride Kenny cards for Buffa. And I wanted to say, I like how, like, well, Buffa ruins it, but for almost all the Geats writers, uh, like, 
Tycoon is level two because he's a secondary, and Nago is level three because she's a tertiary. But mm -hmm. for some reason, Buffa is six, while Beroba is four. I have no idea what you're talking about. The right chemi um, cards. I like. Okay. I, I forget who, but someone in the Discord said maybe Baroba's four because she's dead. I was thinking that because it's the death number, not because she's dead. But that's why it's the relation. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know. Um, she's, she's dead, Ace. So yeah, Baroba's dead, and Kewa finally decides to stand up to Kekra, which I fully enjoyed. That was my favorite Ooh. part of the episode. Kekra's like, Hell what? But... You're supposed to be a dark, brooding hero who hides their tears behind a mask, and he does the whole, like, dance, interpretive dance bit. It's like, yeah. fuck Did off! You're supposed to be Amazons. There only likes Ow the Edge Riders. Yeah. <laughs> I do love that people have been making jokes about like uh Kikara is the guy who tells you only to watch Amazons in Black Sun and meanwhile he's <laughs> actually in Amazon. He's like a commentary on the fandom, which I think we've said before. Yeah. I you know what I almost want to compare Kekara to? Let's remember that Kewa's parents have been dead for X amount of years, and then Kekra in this episode goes, How dare you be ungrateful? I raised you from nothing! And I almost want Kewa to go, You're not my real dad! Stab! <laughs> you killed your parents so I could love you like a son! Oh man, I know that it would be absolutely convoluted as fuck to explain, but if it turned out that Kekra orchestrated the murder of Kewa's parents, that would be so in character and hilarious, and the secu circuitous bullshit they would have to e execute to explain it would be through the roof! I don't think hilarious is the right word, but it's something. I, I, I mean, mean, like, hilariously convoluted. I mean, he's from the future. He could have, like, randomly selected just a person and been like, I'm gonna turn you into a god. You're my new pet project. Yeah, but you see, that requires uh, Takahashi to actually uh, give these characters actual closure. Yeah, um... There's this one line when they're at the Tree of Knowledge when uh, Beroba and Kekra are talking and they're like, we're doing all this shit for the sake of the audience. And Baroba's like, you know what? I think the ones who just sit there and watch and do nothing are worse. And my brain goes to, okay, Flowey from Undertale. <laughs> Those that sit around and do nothing are the worst. Okay, freaking freaking way to get politics into this <laughs> that's literally a thing flowey and undertale says to you during one of the ending pathways hmm. it's a it's a it's a <laughs> shot at the player because you're just sitting and watching everyone murder each other in that in oh, that, that, that playthrough that uh, was it the same people who did the who took Hune's dialogue like uh, when he was talking to um neon and put the pokemon the first movie speech over it <laughs> Because it probably was, like, them just, like, screwing with it and being like, eh, this is a funny reference. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, oh, so, after the battle happens, they... Daichi pulls out his fucking antidote juice, and they pour it on the tree, and even though there's hundreds of faces on this tree of knowledge that he's assembled, I guess only Sarah gets to come back to life and fuck everyone else. Oh, yeah. I, I, I think everyone else will slowly start coming out. Otherwise, it would have been like, Sarah, you're back. That would have been so funny. Just like if everyone just falls out of the tree at once. <laughs> broken, <laughs> broken arms, broken legs. <laughs> broken God, the person at the top survives because they land on the corpses <laughs> of everyone else. No, no, no. Just wait. Is there one more? Oh, they all look up in the tree. I can't Guys! get down. Actually, like, like he's he's hugging the tree for dear life. I can't that, get down. That was it was a joke from a D and D like story I was watching once, where it's like these guys just told this crew this crew stuck in a tree from a skyship to like jump down, but they forgot to like put up the the catcher or whatever. So all of them but one died because oh. he had. You land in a pile of corpses. <laughs> I, I, I can just see it just up at the top of the tree. I can't get down. Naga. 
Sambu on it. <laughs> Just pulls out his sword and cuts the tree down. <laughs> Timber! And, and yes, I will forever refer to Naga when she talks about Michinaga as Zambu. <laughs> but yeah, so we get Sarah back. Kay was happy and can finally cut out his emo shit. One wish down. And now and Ace is slowly turning to stone. <laughs> just like his mommy. And yeah, next week we're getting, I think it's called Common Rider Jillian. Which is just it a gaze, it's a gazer reskin with a cape, and it's kind of badass, but its chest piece is like ripped it. off from Re Assault Vulcan. Isn't that also like the the shoulder pads from like what, the ghost villain? Uh, Extremer? Yeah. Maybe? Like... I th it looks, I think that's still Assault Vulcan's shoulder pieces, I could be wrong. I think this is a dope suit. <laughs> uh, does we, does uh... this... I was like, does this mean the Vision Driver has another secret rider form they have to update the ad for? Or is this a no, I think it's, it's not a different belt. I think no, it's a different belt. A belt. Yeah. yeah, it's gold. The Julian belt or something. Yeah, uh, we're not going to see that for another week. Because for some reason, Geats is the only show that's going to not uh, air next week. Or this week. This weekend? Yeah, this weekend. Which means King Oger still airs because Toei knows what the better show is. It is, yeah, it is the better show. <laughs> no, 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 we got, we got to delay Geats. Why? Because freaking the next writer, he's not ready yet. Like, like, like honestly, Contract's like I, still I, I, I watched. I didn't have much to say about this episode because, like, I was watching it and just kind of like, eh, and then I watched King Oger and I was like, ooh. Yeah, see, if they had held off King Oger for a weekend, we would have rioted. Yeah. If you need to hold off gates for a weekend, his gotcha just dropped out. <laughs> All right. Well, anyone else? Any closing thoughts on Geats before we move on? Uh, I'm ready for the show to be over. <laughs> I, I don't. Under, I, I didn't understand why people bitch and complain about how like why is Baroba falling to the ground? Like you know, she's such a giant. Why is she falling from the from the sky? Because she was jumping. Yeah. yeah, she was like she like, flew into the sky and flew down at Michi. Like, how hard is it to understand that concept? <laughs> like the little mouse. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, that mouse has been going around as a meme. Ukyo mouse. Ukyo mouse. Why is it a mouse? <laughs> Guards, it's it's Toku X Stacker. It's no, not Twitter it, anymore. It, it's Toku Twitter, where everyone apparently needs to go watch some show a writer. Um, before we and move on, black. before we move on, Blaze, uh, any specific thoughts on Geet since you caught up with twenty two episodes? Um, I mean, guess nothing really else. Like I said in the beginning, just I think this show had a lot of potential that they just squandered. I um, what, like what I said in. Uh, one of the spoiler chat, I think, uh, like, summed it up perfectly that they took uh, modularity, one of the coolest things to do, and they used two different buckles that weren't boost or fever once, and it wasn't even a good form. They've taken modularity and used it, instead of being creative, to be lazy. And I think that's the show's biggest sin. Yeah. I it was more focused on its characters than its gimmick. And it, it wasn't even focused on its characters. Its secondary rider was a fucking joke for like fucking for, like half the time I watched. Yeah. No. He went. I think from, you're wrong. He went from the goodest boy that we must protect to the pratfall kid that everyone kicked when he was down to the emo <laughs> mall goth king of the gangs, and now I don't even know what he is anymore. I, he was. I'm complicated. <laughs> I will say, um, I do like them talking about how, um, like early on when they said like, oh, they, uh, they, t uh, in order to grant wishes, they take the happiness of the losers. Yeah. Because then if you look at what happens to the characters later on, fucking, um, like, uh, S S Sarah keeps getting kidnapped and eventually dies. Uh, Neon gets her secret revealed, which turns all the other supporters against her. Um, so it's like you literally the world that like 
the um, the the creation goddess took away any opportunity for their happiness yeah. to grant the wish, and I think that's just very that was very clever writing. Mm-hmm. Anyway, all right, King Ogre time. Oibakuso, or something. I don't know. It's Ogai Buso. Ogai Bukuso. Booga booga. Did you all get shocked yeah. like Kira? Ninja yeah. Storm. What was it? Ninja Storm Ranger form? Yeah, that's it. Cool. All along with your mouse. I'm going to play the bumper now. Okay. Ooh, another banger episode, and I'm happy to see we're back to the normal opening this week. So I, have a little bit of a com- I have a little bit of a complaint, and I kind of hope Ichi agrees with me on this. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, like, so, like, like yeah, we, we find out that, like, the, the, the castle's a, a Zord or me- Mech or whatever like that. Uh-huh. And so, of course, Gira goes, like, they're like, oh, yeah, put the lance into the thing, and it'll unlock the Mech. He does that, and my immediate first thought was... You have to be transformed first, you idiot. It's a mech. <laughs> and also, the first time he tried to do it, the crown wasn't on it. Yeah. Uh, can, 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 can we just say freaking... You know, I stand corrected. We didn't need an Ultraman director for that episode of Geats. We needed a Sentai director. Because look at that fucking shot from King Oh, Ogre. this shot, this battle with Digorg was so well framed. He's so terrifying. Oh my god. Before we get any further, Emily, hold on. Emily was trying to say something. What, what was that? Oh, sorry, Emily. No, it's okay. I was just saying um that the, there's a, a lot to talk about in this episode, but I had three main things. One is like um I, they eat the, the, the Shugo sold in order to get big? I... Okay, so for every theory that we are correct on, there's always going to be another theory that we are incorrect on. We were correct yeah. about Kamijim. We were incorrect about what they were eating. We thought, or at least I did, I know a, a lot of people probably agreed, what they were eating to grow giant was the rainbow Jururita because it was sparkly and orange, just like the Jururita was in Gira's flashback. But no, this week they reveal that the Bugnarok are eating Shugod souls to grow giant. And my immediate question is, where the fuck are these other Shugod souls coming from? Have they just been robbing all of the random Shugods that fly around the country in the background? It's speaking of theories, we find out that we find out that Kaogon does not have a soul this officially this week. They which... finally fucking addressed it. Yes. And the other thing is, oh my god, oh my god, Suzume. Oh, we'll get into that. Oh, so, Seven's so, got a good idea. Maybe mm-hmm. Rainbow Jura are Shugod souls and Gira eight Kuagons. That, oh, oh my god. that's a good idea. Because my... I have a secondary theory about that, but... Gira misremembering eating a Shugod soul as Rainbow Juarira? That would explain why there's no recipe for it in anyone's records. But why would he eat a freaking Shugod soul? Maybe Brackley's tricked him into doing it. I don't know. Maybe he was trying to poison him. Kill him. But maybe wait a minute. Maybe that's why he's able to understand the Shugods. Yeah. Okay. So, in addition he, to my pre- pre-existing theory that the soul is inside him, I'm now also considering an alternate theory, and Lane knows about it because he po- he shared this on Twitter. What if Gira is the soul? Yeah. <laughs> this, and you know why I think this is not off the table. Gira being the manifested soul would serve to explain why no one knew who the fuck he was before, even if he was supposedly the younger prince of the kingdom. I mean, like... I believe it. Why he was able to live as a street rat in Shugadem with no one in the entire country recognizing him as, Hey, you're Prince Kira! What are you doing out in the streets? It would explain why no one knew him because he didn't exist before. And then when they revealed, oh yeah, look, it's Prince Kira, everyone just goes, oh, I guess he was a, some, I guess he was all along and we just didn't know him because they just hit him. 
it's 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 reaching. I'm very aware. But now we have these two theories on the I, table. Honestly, I think that that's pretty sound. I, I I'm for that if that's that that's the case. Man, I'm so excited. I fucking love this show. Right. Theory crafting okay. in this show is so much fun. All right. Well, also, let me get this out of the way because, like, it needs to be talked about. So, yes, we do see a <laughs> coffin, and supposedly Rakulis' dead body was recovered from said bottom of the cliff that he got sent off of. But show me a body, and I'll believe you. <laughs> He is not dead. And I if he is, if they, I also made a challenge for myself. If Rakules is confirmed to be dead for the rest of the show, I will buy the DX K Oger Caliber Zero. I will say that no one in this shot said, I recovered the body of King Rakules. They said ever since the body was recovered. So... It could be the case that some some random shoe god knights were sent out to recover him, but like I I don't see anything deliberately pointing to that not being Rackley's body. It, like, it, like when Ke when like when we all thought Takator and Gaim was dead, and Kevin refused to believe that he was. <laughs> that that's me. He, he's not dead. I'm. I will say it's a possibility. I'm not going to take that off the table either. No. But no. my my question is, if Rackley's is dead, why in the fuck is Suzume keeping up this act? It is for no one's or... purpose anymore. She's messing with people and enjoys it, but I love that she's crying just like her brother. Yep. And then she says, she says I remember those romantic days where we he told me the secret of the castle right before bed and then it cuts to the flashback and she's like i haven't slept for three days you need tell to tell me the me. secret okay fine no, the no. secret blah 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 I also, before I that before that right hold on hold on before that like suzume is about to start the story and she's like oh those love filled days when we were in bed and do you just see kagura go i don't i don't want to know anymore please stop <laughs> All we know, for all we know, Kagura, Haki, and Suzume fucking have Rakules held up somewhere in Tofu. And, like, they just, I don't know, they're doing something with them. But, yeah, so apparently at some point, Suzume pretended to be insomniac and, like, pleaded with Rakules to tell her the secret of the castle and Rackley's just fucking spills it because he's annoyed with her. And I'm like, my God. <laughs> Rackley's just does stupid shit so much. Oh, he just he just doesn't have the tolerance for the uh, Dabowski's bullshit. So why doesn't he just <laughs> Okay, I I say this not out of disrespect to women, but it would be fully in Rackley's character for him to just tell her to shut the fuck up! Eh. I mean, it wouldn't matter gender, gender wise, an equal opportunity telling someone to shut up. I know, but you know what I mean? Like the, the idea yeah. of a, a man in charge telling a woman who is his prisoner to shut the fuck up could be construed a certain way. That's true. I mean, to be fair, Disney made a movie like that and it made millions. It was called Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> <laughs> one. Yes. <laughs> oh. Uh. So on to my only minor complaint with this episode. Okay. Diagorg obliterated like half of the fucking kingdom. This is unfucking precedented. Okay, like it. Yes, in 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 a in Comrade or Gaim, there was mass destruction, and I won't go into detail because Emily hasn't seen it. But like to see destruction on this scale in a relatable measurement from a monster from a general in one hit to literally wipe out an entire fucking city is crazy. Uh, no, like but, literally, but, literally but, that happened, and th my reaction was that. <laughs> and was then, then you have Jeremy, because remember, this is a kid's show. I was able to save all the citizens with my web. 
Yeah, I love that. Like, I, I was just thinking, like, way to go, Jeremy. That was I'm the most like... bullshit thing I've ever heard in this show. That was, that was, this was them covering their bases on an I can see their parachutes level. I saw their parachutes. They're okay. Too bad it's Sunday or the, or that kingdom was been fell tomorrow. They were sent to another dimension. Everyone was on vacation from that town today. <laughs> But really? holy shit, the, it, the, like half of the Shugadam countryside is just ash and magma and destruction. And I'm like, oh my God. And the, and the oh, worst, don't, worry, it was, don't worry, it was a Shelbyville. And the worst <laughs> part was, he just keeps getting fucking bigger. <laughs> oh. Shit. What if he gets so big, he starts to flow? Uh, no, no, he suffocates from the stratosphere. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> he suffocates himself because he's breathing because he's like, like his head's in the stratosphere there's no air just <laughs> I actually, so, I double checked this because like I saw that shot of like half the country scorched and I looked at an earlier shot of Shugadam just to make sure that yes he did in fact wipe out an entire city it's gone oh man what other They're sentai has done that <laughs> Uh, closest we've gotten is entire planets being blown up. Yeah, see, look, there's a before shot. You can see the town on the left of the image. That town is gone. Damn. I don't know Those why. The first... Or not people. <laughs> I, I saw the first screenshot. I'm like, oh, is this from like Legend of Zelda or something? <laughs> it does look kind of like a Legend of Zelda. The, graphic, the graphics look like something from Legend of Zelda. <laughs> Could you fucking imagine like a Breath of the Wild Tears of the Kingdom game set in GQ? That would be so fucking cool. Not happening. That's not happening. The game not happening. Are, the game already looked or the show the game. The show already looks like a fucking video game. Give All us right, a new well, Sentai video game. When was our last good right. Sentai game? All right, kids. Now we have uh, never. Yeah, yeah never. Uh, now, now, kids, let's answer the big old question: Are shoe gods real or are they artificial? You decide. The shoe gods are 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 as real as Ben's aliens from Ben Ten. They're real to the person that. That acknowledge so that's, that the so that's the thing, right? Like Gira and they, Gira and Yama are kind of having this like debate where like Gira is like, no, I can hear them talk. They're real, and Lin Yama's just being the realist. Like, yeah, they're AIs that I programmed. <laughs> yeah, but they're still sentient. Let, yeah. let, let, here, what I choose to focus on is remembering that Yanma mentioned that he didn't create them; he modified no. them. Yeah. So. What were they like before he modified them? They had to have been organic creatures with souls and hearts and emotions. So what, this is like beast machines? Yes. Yeah. They're tech organic. Yeah. And transform. <laughs> also, I, I love that like this is later on, but I like that there's like a scene where like they try to like unlock the mech again or something like that, or like they do something, and literally just the subtitles just got Yama just go, well shit. <laughs> He's Stupid like, goddamn well, castle. Me. Well fuck me. <laughs> and shoe gods taking my goddamn job. Um so, I... so, so yeah, supposedly Yanma ordered them to think for themselves i'm surprised jeremy didn't know about the mech or, or the castle being a mech with him being you know the storyteller and everything well you have to keep in mind that this is one of those secrets of shugadam that rackley's fought so hard to keep secret that was the whole point of the miniseries yeah i, I didn't watch the miniseries yet. well you should it's good yeah i, I know Busy. But uh busy. so regarding Digorg, I love that like after his one attack he was so drained that he literally just had to stand there giant for like a day. And he's fucking Shin Godzilla. And and Kame Jim oh is like, all right, so he'll be at peak charge first thing in the morning, and then your main capital is going to be destroyed. You know what the better move would have been to do as a villain? To lie about how long it was going to take? Also, I like Kilderock fucking went to, like, what's-his-face? And he's just like, so, uh, this, what were you doing with this whole spy thing? Huh? Oh, to, you know, he has a fair point. 
if you want to fool your enemies, you got to fool your allies too. Yeah, apparently yeah. Death Rock didn't know that Kami <laughs> Jim was masquerading yeah. as Boshmaro. Yeah, so he's, he's like, the fuck was that about? <laughs> And uh, so the monster of the week this episode is the Shoe God Hunter, who apparently, off camera, defeated Tarantula, Kabuto, Bat Hopper, and Scorpy, and took all of their Shoe God souls so Daigor could eat them. It was pretty cool, though. That happening, I guess. It was a cool design. He had rad lightning powers. And I feel like they should have been using this guy way earlier in the show if he had this kind of ability. Yeah. You know what I like? You know what I'm going to chalk this up to? If the monsters of the week have been eating shoe god souls all this time to grow giant, I imagine this guy has just been skulking around in the background throughout shoe goddam, like picking off the random shoe gods that exist, as we saw in the first episode, and oh, just oh, using yeah, their like souls. <laughs> yeah, like the taxis and the random cicadas and whatever the fuck else. Oh, not the cicadas. <laughs> that would explain why why Gorge hasn't been able to get a taxi in a while. Yeah, I looked up his name on the on the credits list of the episode, and just so I fully fucking process what loud asshole's name is, it's Goroge. I just Gorge. call him God. Yeah, I know. Same as Gorge. 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 Gorge of Shugadam. <laughs> Watch out for that. King. Watch out for Racky Lee's. <laughs> Oh man, so, okay, so what else? Uh, yeah, Garrett tries summoning the Mac gun transformed because he's a fucking idiot and he gets like he gets like electrocuted and then this he's is like the third time like, he's weird. been shocked by electricity and he's starting to get then, like drunk off it. But then he, yeah, then he gets like he's like in this weird state and Yama has to like fucking snap him out of it. Okay, so... he's trying to hitch in with the lance. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, was that why I wasn't work? I, I wasn't paying attention. I was like, "Wait, what happened?" He was he was trying to use the lance like it was the caliber. Imagine oh. being on your way home on a taxi and a bug to rock attacks you to eat your taxi soul. <laughs> <laughs> that does oh. sound weird. Yes, I'm walking. Yeah. So, Gira talks to Kuagon. They bring up the lack of soul. They show the pilot, which we've been paying attention to all the the entire show. So. Thank you for finally talking about it. <laughs> well, I have. I thought it was just a cool looking design. It's just like, oh, that was relevant. So the Shoe Gods wake up thanks to okay. Yanma. They assemble around Gira and give him their blessing. And then King Kuagata Oger fucking beams the monster to death. Yep. Oh, that I love how instantaneous it was. Yep. <laughs> it was great. Now, here's my question. If the Shoe God souls of Tarantula and the Legends are consumed, what the fuck's going to happen to them? Are they, like, disabled forever, or are we going to get the souls back by defeating Digorg? I feel like we'll get the we're, souls we're back. We're going to cut Digorg open. <laughs> and we're going to just... Let me tell you something, Digorg of the Bugnarok. I just went down your throat. You started a war with yeah. Shoe Gods, and I will do it again. Only this time, I will knit your intestines into a sweater. Time for an episode of Magic School Kings. Literally, you can't eat. Literally, we, we're just trying to get the shoe god souls. Whatever. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, just, 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 just get a freaking, um, whatever the hell Raph's race is. It'll be done. <laughs> Favorite Ben 10 alien. I need to talk about more Ben 10. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, the episode ends with Gira attempting to transform the castle again, but it's not working quite yet. So something's still missing. I, think, I, I don't think it's missing missing anything. I think it's just been that it's been too like however long it hasn't been transformed uh, into its. It's rusty. <laughs> Time to oil the castle. Yeah, th th that's all that it is. It's just wait. Stiff. There is so, that. Wait, there is that stiff. one shot of all the gears on the floor. So if we talk about if we talk about Ben Ten one month, can we call it Ben Timber? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the anniversary for Ben Ten is in December. God damn it! There you go, Ben Timber. Ben Timber. <laughs> Coming this Christmas. At least then. We, this Christmas. At ben least Timber. if we did it in December, which we take a week or two off of because Christmas, then we would spend the least amount of time talking about it. 
There you go. Oh, but Ichi, it's such a good show. I've seen some of it. I've seen some of it. It's great. I, my favorite thing is fucking Kevin Eleven. <laughs> And then, you, and then in the future, it becomes like Ben 10,000. Yeah. <laughs> Kevin it, Ethan 11. Wait a minute. Your name is Kevin E11? God damn it. It's actually, I didn't even know that was actually his name. You know, you, you, know, you, you shouldn't be doing that, Gwen. Because why? I'm not going to finish that. Oh, yeah. Listen, listen, Gwen, you got to treat your car like a woman. Go on. No, I feel like I'm about to, to say something wrong. Yeah, he's like, you know what? I'm not going to finish that. So anyway, <laughs> next week we get the series debut of Kofuki, the assistant dude from the Rackley specials. And we're going to get the proper debut of King Caucasus Kabuto. Okay, so what you're saying is I need to watch the King Raculies miniseries before the next episode. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. They're three episodes okay. and they're 10 minutes it, each. It's like 30 minutes. It's Fair literally enough. an episode. I know. I'll do it. I'll add it to my schedule. Yeah. But yes, so very good episode. Sorry, sorry, go ahead. Uh, uh, no, no. no. Uh, good episode all around. I, I do agree with Ichi. King Oger is the better show right now. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it is. <laughs> Mainly because uh, the entire cast is, uh, 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 what is that, equal? Yep. The supporting characters are supporting characters. They don't overshadow the fucking plot. And it's simple. It's straightforward and simple to a degree. <laughs> Anyways, Ninja Turtle time. <gasps> okay, I'm fine. I'm, I'm heading out. All right. Thank you for joining us. Bye. Bye. Everyone. Take care. Good night, everyone. Common Good night. Good night. Rider Shinobi. We have watched the entire series up until this point, and now we're on episode 46, I guess. <laughs> so, so oh, is oh, that the joke? <laughs> right? Yeah, no, absolutely. So, so what, are, what are the odds that this episode of Shinobi is canonically episode 46? Well, we're talking about episode 46 of Geats. Yep. And it's the same weekend as the opening premiere to the, ne to the newest Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. Wow. Also, also, isn't this episode 446? <laughs> no, uh, 447. Last week was 446. Damn it. Ah, Damn it. So, so close. Why did we take two weeks ago off? Anyways, everyone, <laughs> we're back. With Kamen Rider Shinobi, the 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 writer that's equally loved by everyone. I don't think there's a single Toku fan out there who doesn't like the, Kamen Rider the, Shinobi. The hard, the hardcore Kamen Rider Wiz and Gikai fan. The the series that should have aired in 2018 instead uh, of Zero. Shinobi, Shinobi is great. His character's awesome and adorable. Shit, his suit's fucking cool. His abilities are fucking cool. His theme song's fucking cool. The theme song is like, indeed a jam. Played by motherfucking Star Ninja, so that's yep. already like a plus in my books. <laughs> I think my favorite thing about this episode wasn't actually the episode itself, but rather how hard they went making it look like this was an actual episode of an ongoing show. That we had yeah. a recap, we had an opening, we had an episode title, and we had a next time preview. So Ishii died. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> not that Ichi, Ichi, Not Ichi. 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 <laughs> So Ichi with two C's. So, uh... Yeah. <laughs> Ichi, how weird was it for you, though, for Shinobi just yelling, Ichi! <laughs> it was a little weird. <laughs> Definitely are a little weird. The, oh, are those all the other Shinobi riders? I guess. <laughs> those are fucking cool. Huh. So yeah, Atari, the, the Atari, idea oh. is that Amakusa Shiro of the evil clan Niji no Hebi uh, stole Shinobi's powers as well as all of Japan's ninja Kamen Rider powers and is now setting his sights on ninja riders from other worlds, which of course leads us to Tycoon. Because <laughs> I guess technically he is a ninja rider, even though he uses a ninja-themed power-up. <laughs> That that work that that checks out in my book. I guess so. I, I mean, 
I mean, it's like how canonically Tiger Ranger from Zoo Ranger is technically a ninja because he knows ninjutsu. Okay. I guess. <laughs> I'm so, in a I got the ninja captors. So Kawa and Sarah are just walking down the street and they just get fucking isekai'd. And they wake up dressed as ninja because in this world, everyone's a ninja. Now, now you see, I was, I had the weird theory that this this show, uh, this special was going to open with Kawa's death in the show of Geats. You know, when he, uh, when they took the, uh, when they took the city up into the sky. Oh, yeah. And, and how he got bubbled. I that, was expecting this. That would, would have like, actually been a good idea. Just like what he, what his soul did while he was like not in normal. Got, like stuck in limbo, it got sent to like a parallel dimension. Wasted opportunity. And like he wakes up and he's in like ninja gear and shit. He's like, okay. And, and the Sarah that's with him is like a separate Sarah that just exists in that world. Wait a minute, this is just the plot to conquer of Shambhala. They should have just done like a, they should have just done a thing where like they replaced like the K one Sarah of the Shinobi world. Yeah. I was a bit surprised to see his sister. I was like, oh, okay. Oh, uh, it's the joke also, because like I saw like the year was like 2023, because obviously that's when this airs. But like, that's funny because there would be like if Shinobi was an actual show, being that he came from 2022, the show would, it would be 2023. 2023. So eh, I see what you did there. That's clever. That's why it was the, <laughs> near the end of the series. Yeah, you, you can tell Shinobi uh, wasn't great with fans because they had to bring back older writers uh, for the fan service. Oh no! You can tell <laughs> Shinobi wasn't well thought out because he still has only his base form. No, nah, no, nah, that was a creative choice. From, uh, We're going real Showa director. style. Yeah, it's just like he doesn't need any other power ups. You see, the power is inside him. <sighs> I mean, we that is kind of ha what happens at the end of this thing when he like he yeah. like believes in himself and then he just wills his powers back. He literally just bullshit morale speeches his powers back. Yeah, it was it was actually pretty badass. My favorite episode of Kamara Shinobi is when he's out in the woods and he had to do the training arc with this uh with uh, one of the Hibiki actors and uh, he's uh, he's like this red Shinobi rider. <laughs> My favorite arc of Comrade Shinobi was the tuning exam. Oh, remember, the fat, remember the fat ninja? He was so likable. <laughs> Comrade Rider Choji? You, you mean Choji? I'm, I'm returned from the phone call dimension. Comrade right. Rider Choji. Did you know Choji's English dub voice actor was actually Michelangelo in the first Ninja Turtles movie? Cool. cool. Yeah. Or should I say, radical. Yeah. I love the part. I love the part where uh, every one of uh, Shinobi's upgrades is just a new weapon to add to his arsenal of being a ninja. <laughs> so Blade. So it's just knife, nunchuck. Please, please give us your thoughts on Power of Shinobi. I love Episode 46. Shinobi. I love Shinobi as a whole series. Uh, Kagura Rentaro is an amazing protagonist. Um, you know, I love... <laughs> I was about to just go on. A, I was just about to do a whole like rant about big bashing geats. <laughs> but, sorry, yeah, I love like video for for Shinobi could have been better. Yeah, they had this <laughs> weird fox about. guy. Like he had a gun, and like like he seemed to be like yokai based, but wasn't. It was weird. So Sarah gets kidnapped because she happened to be holding the driver when they <laughs> plopped down out of the isekai hole. Yep. That was... They just... They go to steal pens on the fucking uh, Slash as it's like working on the sword. <laughs> so they just take Slash instead. Oh, that would have been funny. I think my favorite part of the actual content of the episode was uh, the fucking scroll frog. Gamano, I think his name was. Yeah, 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 just Kakara? Who? Who the fuck is that? I'm doing that piece of paper. No, I'm Gamino. It's like I gotta, I gotta course, admit, another pun. I gotta admit, I was pretty impressed with like the animation on him, especially oh, when he no. started crying. Oh my god! Like, like, <laughs> got it's, him. It's weird to say, but I think this is probably the best of these like fan club exclusives. Yeah. Because this one felt like, oh, I don't know, entertaining. 
And they yeah, didn't cheap yeah, out yeah. on the effects. It, it's a streaming streaming exclusive. Yeah. You're supposed to watch it on your phone while taking a dump. It, it sucks that because of this being like, oh, the penultimate episode, we won't get anything with Shinobi, because I was still holding out for a manga. Yeah. Maybe someday. But um So Iroha, the princess, his sister, has been kidnapped by uh Amakusa Shiro of Niji no Hebi after taking all the Ninja Rider powers. So uh since Rentaro doesn't have his powers anymore, he's depressed. Kawa cheers him up with Tanuki Soba <laughs> because that's just his thing, I guess. We common riders gotta stick together. We common riders gotta eat soba together. Uh, it, I just fucking love the shot of Kawa just dumping Rentaro into this cart that happens to be nearby and like, alright, we're going to the evil base! <sighs> and then he just carts him into the evil underground garage of the ninja headquarters. Tactical retreat. <laughs> Run away! Run away! Security at this place sucks. Well, they're all ninjas, what do you expect? It's they're all fighting. If we're 46 episodes in this series, I'm surprised fucking Shinobi's sister still fucking doesn't know. <laughs> Especially given so many moments in this episode, it's so blatantly obvious, but they just like, oh, I don't know. Who's I'm holding the powers, but I'm not Shinobi. What sh what so many fucking times. What show was that recently where they kept like this, like a character's identity secret from everyone until like the, the Dawn Brothers. Yep. Yep. This is a Don Brothers situation. They kept their powers secrets from each other until like m midway through the show. <laughs> Fucking Don Brothers. Uh, yeah. I I will say I think Iroha was pretty cute, and the wedding dress was good on her. Was I'm surprised they actually got everyone from the Shinobi special back. I yeah. thought it was just gonna be Shinobi alone. I'm real sad that they made Hatari a villain just to do another Hatari. Because I would have killed to see Hatari I, in that. I will say, I too. think that the plot device of I murdered Ichi, then brought him back as a zombie and had him transform into another rider Hatari, I think that's fucking brilliant. I love the another wasn't, riders, yeah. and that was a really creative way to use them. Yeah, wasn't, but wasn't that another rider in the Shinobi special? No. Oh, so no. that was... That was brand new for That this. was a brand new suit. In the sh yeah. previous Shinobi special, it was just Kamen Rider Hatari. Oh, uh, shit. And oh, although they another used another, another Shinobi, they repainted the suit black, but... Oh, it's a retool cool. of another Shinobi. Okay, so... No, what... What do you mean it's not an another rider? That's clearly another rider! No, but it's not labeled as another rider. I... But yeah, I just it had the totally... fucking same eyes as every other another rider with the like jagged bolt through the eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah but it's not because it, it wasn't associated with the time jackers. It, it's not on paper referred to as another rider. Whatever. Which I on paper is not a six ranger. <laughs> I do hate. I I was really looking forward to Hatari being at least in the this like I was hoping like. Like if he was, like he would, would turn into Comrade Atari and be a part of the final finisher, because I really want them to do a Mirai Driver re-release with just like an electronic version of the Atari buckle, to, so it's actually in, like able to be used. I feel like they could have gotten away with that. That's okay. we'll call that a missed opportunity. So the, the official name apparently is called Atari Yami. <laughs> oh. Yeah. He's so gonna play literally game. Dark Hatari. Yeah. Gotchard. Well, then that's uh -huh. another missed opportunity because him that it looked like in another rider. So anyway, Zedcross showed up and I actually forgot he was in this. Yep. I like so Zedcross. Happy Zed Cross showed up in this. Just, I like Zed how Cross. come your brainwashing didn't work on uh, how come my brainwashing didn't work on you? I am a cyborg. Okay. Yeah, no, that checks out. I guess. It's like, I've already been brainwashed, motherfucker. Also, yeah, so then like, apparently this guy also brainwashed, uh, you know, Kamen Rider Fuma, who uses Hurricane Ninja Gashet, and then Kenzan. 
Oh boy. I thought you brainwashed Kenzon. You have to have a brain to be brainwashed. <laughs> yeah, Kenzon's an idiot. <laughs> Can I bring up one thing about Zack Cross? Mm. Quickly. Apparently, the actor posted photos of this on Instagram. Mm. Of like, yo, him in the jacket, him with the belt. Yep. Back in February when they were filming this. Nice. And, and no one bad a fucking eye about it. <laughs> Months later, this this special gets announced. Oh, and here's said cross. Everyone starts losing it, not realizing this guy spoiled it like months ago, and yeah. no one did a fucking eye. Well, it's not like no one truly really pays attention to Shoa. Is his outfit really iconic enough for anyone to have recognized? Yeah, it's, es- especially since Zed Cross. Cross. no, but Zed Cross appeared in only one thing. <laughs> no, two, no, three things. I mean, he's. I mean, he's also wearing the belt. He's showing up in three. Was things. he wearing the belt in the shots? Yeah, yeah. In, okay, yeah, then yeah, right. then yeah. People should have realized. I, I, I will say it's a very missed opportunity that Shinobi was only using the Shinobi buckle, but did not have the Ninja buckle on the other side. That would have been cool. Shinobi Ninja, especially because um, I think uh, Goggle posted it before because he, for some reason, bought two Ninja buckles, and it looks really cool on both sides. Yeah. yeah. That makes also, the driver look fucking huge. I, I, not, not to be that person, but damn, has Zed Cross actor aged in the last 10 years? I think he aged pretty well. Oh, that's right. He showed up in that movie. Yeah, yeah. again, he's shown up three times. His own special, the Black RX uh, team up with all the other show writers, uh, voice only. And uh, Conrader Tyson. He certainly well, aged, than this. He certainly aged so better than some other writers. I just really hate that, like, Conrader Fuma is like a ninja writer that exists. And I'm just like, you're one of the shittiest fucking movie writer villains that we ever got. I'm like, surprised that they stupid. actually went to the trouble of animating his special attack with, like, the split screen. Yeah. I like, was I fully mean, expecting them not to both- bother points to them for doing that but like this fuma sucked i like yeah. f- i like fuma Kenzon sucked <laughs> fuma, i thought fuma was a really good writer i thought like uh, he's a really good vi- like, villain was it like was this mode of like oh my kid's dying now you now you sound like an asshole his motive was his child was dying, like of a terminal disease, and I, he wanted her to have her last few like days of life be in a happy I just, fantasy world. I just of don't. Where brave was her dad? I just stuff. don't like the suits with actual hair on them. Fuma is just fifteen again. <laughs> yeah, we could we could have done without the fucking. <laughs> it, it's just the tassels on the side. That counts. Does Kurakage count as a ninja? It is writer? a me problem. What are you gonna do about it? Kurakage? Who is that again? Kurakage from Gun. Uh, Fine cone. Yeah. No. No. Okay, if they were gonna put Kurakage in there, they needed Bill. His call out chime is Ichigeki in the shadows. That screams ninja. Uh, no. Again, although, although I will say the design with like the pinecone armor does scream more of like a, a, a military infantryman kind of thing more than a ninja. So yes, again, I, and again, nin, nin, nin comic. If all it takes is the ninja buckle to get fucking Shinobi, uh, not Shinobi, uh, Tycoon kidnapped. Build nin, nin comic could have easily no, been but in there. The difference is no, it, ninja it, is okay. his primary form. You have to be a primary ninja rider. Yeah. Yeah. That's your primary thing form. is mix and matching abilities. But Arrow yeah, was six. his first buckle. <laughs> I I will say, I think it's really cool that uh, I think they announced that they're doing a uh, uh, Soto lot figure for this special, right? For uh, Tycoon? I'm not sure. I think they announced uh, it, which, if that is the case, you can make a shinobi upgrade because you can put the shino- uh, the shinobi armor on shinobi if you got that uh, that Soto figure back in I, fucking I like, 2019. I like I like the the loophole that multi in our chat is trying to go for. So we can include build as wielded by Sento's dad because he used Nin Nin comic primarily. Nice. Did he use Rabbit Tank mostly? He, no, no, he he used Nin Nin comic. It's the reason why we even got a Nin Nin comic figure. Yeah. Oh, 
I don't remember that. <laughs> you know, you know, entertainer. I mean, Ninden comic was cool. But yeah, so blah blah blah. They break into the base. We fight uh, Yami Hatari or whatever. Uh, and Hattari. then, and then Shiro transforms into his monster form, which I think is a really rad design. And I had to look up the name. The name of his form is Geronimo. Geronimo. I don't know if Geronimo. this. I'm not sure if this was a pre-existing suit or if it's brand new. There's a message from the doctor, Geronimo. Geronimo. I have, I have a feeling it was probably a retool or something because again, this Please. is a streaming. Like, this is a streaming exclusive. Yeah, you, you know what Toei does nowadays. They just retool shit. <laughs> Let me see if I directed this. I, I, it's probably Sakamoto. It's probably Sakamoto. Hang on. Uh, sorry for the typing. Oh, Geronimo's suit is repainted from Izangi, the other villain from the revised Battle Royale movie. <laughs> the two useless characters in that movie. So... Another rider, Hatari, was repainted from one of the two aliens, and Geronimo was a retool of the other one. I guess they're not reusing them, so why not? No. Fucking knew it. Not. I'm like, let me guess. Sakamoto. Fucking knew it. Yeah, Sakamoto. You bastards. Um, I will say I was I was very, I was very happy that we got uh we got Zed Cross, like, cause like I like his design, but uh, I'm glad we got his theme song too, cause his theme song is fucking. Oh, fire. oh Dragon Road by. Kira I'm not Kishina, a fan man. of the themes or of the suit, but yes, the theme song, another fucking banger theme. Endless fun. Akira Kushida is just awesome. Oh, he never does wrong ever, ever. <laughs> yes, I need to watch the Punk Jack special. Yeah. Yes. Oh, the Punk Jack special was great. I need to watch that too. Another the, an, song? The, the song, another banger. Yes, another banger. Um, but yeah, so we, the, as uh, Rentaro wills his shinobi powers back, uh, Kewa gets the shinobi buckle as a present. The, yeah, the DX premium shinobi. Yeah, which is a, right. it's literally just a purple reskin. The buckle itself is a purple reskin of the ninja buckle, but it's got unique sounds. Undercover and... action shinobi. Yeah, I like I like it's like the 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 buckle voice, but doing like the Bujin sword level of voice. Shinobi. Yeah, yeah. I love that shit. And then we I, get the debut of Tycoon Shinobi form, and the armor itself is just reused from Kamen Rider Wa's Future Ring Shinobi. Okay, I get I get that his eyes had to be yellow because Shinobi's eyes are yellow, but like I think that would have been cooler if they were purple. Agreed. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but there were no like purple. It was it was a kit bash form, and there's no I purple know. eyes. Although they did be. add an extra touch by adding the shinobi emblem on Tycoon's helmet. Oh, yeah. did I notice yeah, that? Yeah, it's purple. Yep. Neat. Cool. Um, is shinobi a boost level buckle? Hard to say. I would have to get both and compare them. Yo, Shinobi, you should have got Shinobi boost. What do you mean? What do you mean? Is it a boost level buckle? I like in the same way that boost is a separate tier of buckle from the others. Is Shinobi a separate tier buckle? I mean, I think it's probably just in the same tier as the regular buckles. Because I mean, yeah, well, yeah, it's a, it's a buckle for Shinobi. It does not. It's not specially common rider Shinobi. I think what just what would determine it is if the sounds for shinobi in the act are they in the actual desired driver or do the sounds come out of the shinobi buckle itself because if oh, the, they buckle, the buckle is added in the, the buckle has its own has its own sound chip okay so that means that the sound that it would trigger in the actual desired driver would probably be the great sound that other ones like uh command and others like super form buckles yeah. would do yeah it would, it would be hyper because or hyper is, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, yeah, um, so we get to see them fight, and you, we see Tycoon do some, like, Shadow Bunshins, and then they combine and discover the use of holy ninjutsu that they use to undo the evil ninjutsu. Uh, and that... Yeah. Uh, oh, cool. And that apparently results in Ichi properly reviving and coming out Man of the kidnapped. hypnosis control. So I, I know it's not really a big deal and not that it matters, but apparently Kenzon's actor came back to voice him. So well, yeah, yeah, because he he's in he's in cover outsiders. I, I can tell that just a, hey, while you're here, I can tell that was him. Like in from the voice, what Gar was saying earlier is they should have had him show up out of suit too. Yeah, but but again, you know what? This is 
Lane, you know what this kind of reminds me of a bit? What? Reminds me of the Orb movie. Oh, yeah. How Ginga Victory were in it, but only in voiceover. Oh, man, that's right. So, so like, you have this movie with Fuma and Tycoon, who are just there as voiceover. Yeah, Which, no, but even Fu- I looked up Fuma's actor, like, he, he wasn't voicing Fuma. <laughs> oh, of course not. Freaking no. That guy's, just... that, guy, that guy's do, busy doing other things. He doesn't care about Fuma. Yeah. <laughs> what, you what? want me to reprise a, car- a movie villain I played 10 years ago? Well, not 10 years ago. Not 10 years ago, 2017. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 it's like it's like in Forever Red when Orko showed up, and that's totally not Orko's voice. Wow. <laughs> so anyway, the, the ZX theme plays, everyone does their rider kicks, and uh, and then ev- everything's saved. And <laughs> yeah, all yeah. the riders return back home somehow. Through the portal that we just left open, I guess. I'm sad, I'm sad that cross didn't go, yeah. And that's where they do the the stupidest moment of Iroha doesn't realize that Rentaro is Shinobi even though he's holding the fucking bottle. Right? She's just an Lord. idiot. I love it. No, I love it. He too. He's like, oh, maybe it's your time to be Shinobi, and she's like, no, I don't want to be Shinobi. <laughs> Why are you holding the Shinobi gourd? Yes. I don't there know. Is an answer to your question. See, okay, like, I'm glad I know now that this was, like, episode 46 of Shinobi, because I thought, like, they revived Ichi, and then, like, Ichi's like, oh, I'm alive, and then he gets, like, kidnapped again, and I'm just like, wait, wait, and then they're like, oh, thanks for helping us, K.O., I hope you get back to your world and get your wish and everything, I'm like, aren't you guys gonna resolve that your friend got fucking kidnapped again? No, that's that's next time. Yeah. On this thing. On the finale of Shinobi. Or don't you dare. <laughs> and, and then we cut and then we cut to a TV as this preview's finishing, and then we cut out to what I first <laughs> thought was just fucking Gene from Geats, but then it's like, no, it's his actor as himself, I, I guess. Yeah, I guess he's promoting like another show he's in. <laughs> I think I they think... were just doing a gag, like a fourth wall gag, because then there's like this poster on the wall of him doing a bunch of common writer catchphrases. I, I think the gag was, oh, and this like, oh, the fucking um, Geeks doesn't exist, so his actor's doing other stuff right now. Yeah. Oh yeah, in the in the in the next episode preview, uh, apparently the bad guy is Shinobi's dead. Oh boy, <laughs> which that makes the scene of him marrying Shinobi's sister worse. By the way, I was so curious about who the villain in this was because for some reason I thought he was Kairi from Lupin Ranger, but I looked up his actor. He was Kamen Rider Chimera from the Revice movies. Hmm. So uh, the the other chimera, yeah, chimera, yeah, not, not diamond. Yeah, not yeah, yeah. diamond, diamond, diamond. Not ninja black. Yeah, not ninja black. So yeah, that was a special. I thought that was nice. It's, it's it was it was super fun to come back to Shinobi. Hopefully yeah, not was, the last one. It was very entertaining. Oh yeah, no, I had a good time. Shinobi would have been so good if he was the 2022 writer. Yes. <laughs> Should... But I, I feel like this was Toei's being like, okay, we couldn't actually make Shinobi the 2022 rider. Here, here's this. Here's a compromise. No, no. Sh- Shinobi, Shinobi would have been the 2022 rider if this was still the Heisei era. Oh yeah, he was one of the Chimeras. He was the one that oh, died. Yeah. Oh yeah, he was yeah. the one that died. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I do wish the rest of the Mir riders got a little bit more love. Um, I would have liked to see Kikai like. Uh, <laughs> I, yeah, I, I, I feel like Shinobi stuck stood out the most, mainly because he's the most retooled suit of the of the three. Well, also he. Um, I mean, they're all pretty retooled. Yeah, yeah, but with Quiz, you can tell. With Kikai, you can tell. Shinobi, it's a bit harder to see. Not really. I can tell it's made of like three different riders. Yeah, it's made of a ride player suit. It's a ride player, it's the ghost suit, and then they just stuck a yeah. fucking shuriken on the face. Shinobi was also the only one of him that became their own uh, another rider. Yeah. We're just, gonna, we're, we're just gonna call this episode Shinobied. <laughs> get Shinobied. Yeah, get Shinobied. Sure, why not? I don't have anything better. Yeah. Yeah. Um... <laughs> 
Anyway, that's Cast Ranger. <laughs> How about Barobai? <laughs> bye bye. Bad. <laughs> all um, right. Well, thank you all. G Kai, Radio Sentai Cast Ranger. So here's the plan. Can, can, can I talk about the plan? Sure, go ahead. Yeah. So, okay. Uh, like I mentioned earlier in the episode, Geats is taking next week off because of golf. This, Thanks, coming, golf. this coming weekend. This weekend. Yo, this are we going to get the golf buckle? <laughs> <laughs> so, no, Decker. Um, that Galmer um, Runner game got out of there. Right? It's a retool of the Ginga. fantasy. It's a retool of the fantasy buckle where instead of the spinning sun, it's a spinning golf ball. Ginga, Ginga was also yeah. Commander Ginga was a writer I was I should have loved, but I ended up fucking hating. I love Ginga. Him. Ginga got no. done dirty. He's he's fucking solar powered. It's so stupid. So <laughs> Superman. Shut up. <laughs> no, fuck you. Guys, please. Can, can, can I, Go yes, ahead. Sorry. I have to pee. <laughs> All right. Geats is not airing next week. King Oger is. We're delaying the King Oger uh, episode discussion uh. because next week. Shin Kamen Rider. Yes. Oh fuck. So next week's yeah. episode is going to be just Shin Kamen Rider, and then Yay the week. Train our, my friend Matt Burkett from Monstrosities. Nice. So Cell's yeah. gonna be here. Paul's gonna be here. Yeah, and Paul I wasn't here. On. Paul wasn't here this week because he's sick, and Cell wasn't here because he's not interested. And you guys <laughs> don't want me on two episodes in a row. <laughs> Well, we have another guest coming, so we don't want to be too crowded. No, I know. I'm kidding. I have I'm okay. I have to say, I love all these shots that people have, like that one kid, <laughs> the shots from the fucking movie. Just these weirdly <laughs> awkward facial angles of everyone. Yeah, the cable one was really funny. <laughs> yeah, and also, there's no stock tension in the King Oja movie. Fuck. Oh well. Um, got to see Godshard. It was pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. He was a pirate um, ship. Anyways, yeah, yeah, he was pilots. <laughs> um. Anyways, I finally get to watch Shin Kamen Rider. Yay! He's the yeah. only one who hasn't seen it yet. Apparently, yeah, I saw it in theaters. Cool. Yeah. All right. So until then, thank you all for listening, watching, liking, favoriting, sharing, subscribing, hitting the bell, and being awesome. As of course, I have to thank our patrons. Not the least of which here is our good friend Blaze, who is with us tonight. Hello. As well as Armorhide, Sentai VT, and Mike Harper. And you could join this illustrious list of names by signing onto our Patreon, from which you can find at castranger.podbean.com, primary source of our hijinks. Facebook, Facebook, Twitter, slash X, shut up, Lane. Discord, Patreon, merch store, all of our cool shit. And remember, stay Shinobi, which means stay hidden inside, away from <laughs> public eyes. Shinobi to kaite, jaibe no kokoro. All hail X. <laughs> Thank you, and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.